punch. Don't call my fucking house no more. Excuse me? Don't call my fucking house. And who's this? Don't call my fucking house with no bullshit. You get fucked up. And I mean business, motherfucker. Bell Bunch. Don't call my fucking house. Motherfucker. Is this, Greg, is this Gregory Stevens? Don't Sir? call my fucking house no more. Why are you so mad at me? Son of a bitch. Well, I, you know, I, 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 I don't understand why you're so mad at me, sir. Good buddy, motherfucker. Don't call my fucking house with no bullshit. You get fucked up. Wow. Why are you, why are you doing this? Don't call I, my fucking house no more. Don't call your house anymore. You can't. Uh, after, uh, you don't think I've done anything for you? you, and you just because uh, John read the receipt wrong to you, you're gonna you're gonna act this way. Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? Why are you doing this, sir? Bitch. Why why are you doing this? I, I'd like to talk to Carrie. Well, that, you try to go get the fuck back on the banana boat. Why are you acting like this? Good buddy, motherfucker. We got along fine. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. You I know that you're a gentleman. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. I tried to call and, and apologize to anything that happened. What's wrong, faggot? Okay, Gregory Stevens, bye. Son of a bitch. Bell Bunch. Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. Hello. What's happening? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Hello. What do you want? You're the one that called you, your pastor, do you? I didn't call you, sir. Bye. You, you got something better to do than fuck with me? God damn, you stupid son of a bitch, you. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. And who's this? Fred Herbert. Is this Gregory Stevens? This is Gregory Stevens. I'm, I'm sorry, what? You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. What's happening, sir? I know you're a better gentleman than this. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what, sir? I, I, I don't understand why you're so mad at me, sir. Uh, are you the gentleman that my phone is ringing or something? I, I, I don't understand why you're... Excuse me? Why I are you doing this, sir? I'm not the call this moment. Valvines. We got along fine. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? What's going on here, sir? I, I, you, you call me five or six times here, and I, I haven't called you. Are you? Are, is your phone ringing, and you think it's me? I, I, I don't understand why you're so mad at me, sir. I, I'd like to talk to, to Carrie. Is Pardon this me? Gregory Stevens? Okay, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I know of one Gregory Stevens who's okay. a black gentleman whose son never paid me. Is that, is, is that you? Wow. Bell I, I, I'm not sure I know. And who's I'm not this? Sure I know who you know uh, who you are, sir. And who's this? Fred Herbert. Yeah, just because. Excuse me. My name is Fred Herbert. Why are you acting like this? Uh, are, are you mentally ill? Excuse me. I'm not doing anything. You're the one calling me, acting strange. Okay, Gregory Stevens. Bye. Come <laughs> on. I tried to mother. call and apologize to anything that happened. Why are hey, you doing who are this? You? I, I'd like to talk to Carrie. Carrie, you have the wrong number. I, I'm this? a bell. You I and I have gotten along fine, are. and I don't know why this is happening. We got along fine. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? 
Sir, I don't know who in the fuck you are. Goodbye. Wow. Bell Bunch. Hi, this is Frank Garrett with Duncan Construction. I know it's the Mr. Call. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you, this is whom? I was just returning the call that was on my uh, missed call. Okay, well, and your name again is? Frank Garrett. Hang on just a second. What number are you calling us back at, sir? So we have several offices, and I just want to make sure nobody's trying to call you. That's right, and I answered it, and it was you. Now explain that one to me. I'm uh, sorry, what? You called me eight times today. I called the Dwindlers today? Yes. Okay, goodbye, sir. Bell Bunch. Oh, I'm fine. This is Officer Martin from Sheriff's Department. How can I help you this evening? I'm sorry. This is who? This is the Sheriff's Department. This is Deputy Martin from the Sheriff's Department. Okay. Are you, what are can you I calling do for here? You? Stop calling here. Pardon me? Well, you need to call, quit calling here. I'm uh, calling where? I might. You know what? I've been getting calls all day long. That I'm calling somebody, and I'm not calling anybody. I've already told you I, who I am. Pardon me? Well, you need to call, quit calling here. I'm not calling anybody. I, 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 I uh, stop calling. Who am I calling, sir? You can call the Sheriff's Department and confirm it. Which Sheriff's Department? What's that? Who is this? My name's Fred Herbert. I'm a bell bondsman. What, what's going on here? I, I've been, I, I've, I've, uh, I've been, I've had 30 calls today from, and, and, uh, that I'm calling somebody. I'm not calling anybody. Who is it? Something's, I just told you. I'm Fred Herbert and I'm a bell bondsman. What's that? Goodbye. Really? Bellbinds. Hello, you have a collect call from Gregory Stevens. To connect this call for a charge of seven dollars, please say yes or no now. No. Thank you. Your account has been billed for this call. And who's this? Why are you Why are you doing this? Why are you acting like this? You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Bell Bunch. Hey. Who's this? Who the fuck are Hello? you? Hello? Who are you trying to call? Who are you trying to call? Bell Bunch. Let me tell you something, asshole. You called here three times in the last ten minutes, and I'm goddamn sick of it. Is that officer? Who are you trying to call? Yes. I, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's the 760 number or the uh, the other number that I've given you. Who are you talking to? They've called, they've called a few weeks, a few, about three time, 13 times today. Yeah. And called about 50 times yesterday, so. Yeah. Okay. So you will take care of this? I your fucking ass, motherfucker. That officer? Yeah. Huh? All righty. Bell Bunch. This is the sheriff's one. This is Deputy Martin from the sheriff's department. Are you Are you calling here? No, I'm not. Well, you need to call. These people call are here. calling me. No one's called you. Bell Bunch. I'm gonna advise you now. This is the sheriff's department. Stop well, calling. Well, if it's the sheriff's. Department. Come to my office because I've been getting these here? crappy from these people for two days. Thank you. No one's called you. Bell Vines. I'd like to talk to Carrie. Stop these annoying phone calls. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? Why are you doing this, sir? Why are you so mad at me? This is actually my voice. They why are you why are you doing this? 
Bell bunch. You want me to fucking fuck your face in, bitch? Hey, you know what, you fucking asshole? I've got your phone number, and I'm going to ring your fucking neck. Why don't you come and meet me? I'll fucking beat you so fucking hard, you piece of shit. Bell bunch. You got cunt blood sticking out your face. Take a you fucking sledgehammer to your fucking kneecaps, you little piece of shit. You're talking to my plant. You got no balls, buddy. Why don't you be a real man and tell me who you are? Talk to your fucking horse, asshole. He a big cock. Fuck you, you prick. You're gonna have a heart attack, you old fuck. Bell bunch. What do you got nothing better to do but keep dialing on the phone, you ass white? Hi, this is Brad. You have six saved messages. Main menu. To listen to your messages, Press 1 to send a message. Uh, I just got your message. Um, that's weird. It came from an unknown phone number and went to the house phone, which goes to Mabel's uh, cell phone. So um, if you need a faster response, do go to my cell phone, 336. I'm sure you have it. But anyway, um, to answer to your question, um, what I did has no effect whatsoever on the music at the house. It's just intercom and doorbell. So music will be exactly as it was. Uh, if you have any problems or you have any questions, holler and let me know. All right? Yeah. Bye. Right. Resave. Hello? Hello? And who's this? Pardon me? Is this Gregory Stevens? Mm, no. Is this Freddy? Yes. Pardon me? Wow. My name's Fred. I'm a bell bondsman. What, what's going on here? Uh, I don't know. You've you've got in touch with your intelligent uh, twin brother. Wow. Who am I calling, sir? What? I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. We got along fine. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? Yes, I do that a lot. Wow. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you so mad at me? I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Why are you acting like this? Uh, because I can just because John read the receipt wrong to you, you're gonna you're gonna act this way. Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? Um, re repeat that again. I didn't get the first part of it. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Why are you Why are you doing this? I've been I've had thirty calls today from and and. Uh, that I'm calling somebody. I'm not calling anybody. That's weird. Wow. And your name again is? Say it again. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. You just assume? <laughs> I got a call, and I got a call, a couple of calls last night. at Okay. From a Palmdale number, and then I got a call from an unknown number. And then I got a call this morning again from a Palmdale number um, early this morning. And then this call came in, and it was, um, it just says unknown. Where are you calling from? I'm Fred, and I'm a bell bondsman. Yeah, I'm your twin brother. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm your twin brother. Uh, are you mentally ill? You're, now you're breaking up. Say that again. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Well, what does getting along fine have to do with anything? Sure, I don't know who the fuck you are. You don't? I, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's the 760 number or the uh, the other number that I've given you. Who am I calling, sir? Who are you again? <laughs> My name is Fred. I just told you. 
you know. And I just told you. Why don't you believe me? Is this Gregory Stevens? No. This is heavy on the mister. I still have your um, uh, uh, bus sign from uh, Las Vegas. Wow. Hang on just a second. Come to my office. Hey, you know what, you fucking asshole? I've got your phone number, and I'm going to ring your fucking neck. Who are you talking to now? Excuse me? Who are you talking to now? I just told you. Back to your fucking horse, asshole. You see, you break it up. I can hardly hear you. Okay. They called her 13 times today. Stop these annoying phone calls. I didn't call anyone. I got a couple, like I told you, I got a couple of calls from Palmdale area. And okay. also, also um, an unknown number. This number, this call that just came in right now is from an unknown number. My name is Fred. And who's this? Who are you? I, I'd like to talk to Carrie. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay. Hello? 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 Bell Bunch. Carrie? Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch? Yes. And your name again is? Okay. I tried to call and apologize to anything that happened. You had the wrong number. <laughs> we got along fine. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? Yes. Wow. You're not Why are you anything. acting like this? You're not taking anything, are you? Excuse me? Are you taking anything? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got another call coming in. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to get back to you. Okay. Don't call your house anymore. Bye. You're talking to my plant. Bell Bonds. Hello? Bell Bonds? Yes, may I help you? This is Freddie. Nope, this is Mike. Who's this? What's going on? Who is this? This is Mr. Heavy on the Mr. What's happening? I thought I was getting one of those fucking recorded calls and shit. I was ready to hang up. <laughs> I got a call and I know. I, got a call I know, I heard. I calls last night. Crazy and then calls this call came from what in, area and code? it was, um, it just says unknown. Where are you calling from? I'm not the one calling you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you What's mean? What's going on? I didn't I call know. anyone. Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. Why no don't idea. you believe me? <laughs> Why don't I believe you what? You're not taking anything, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. Are you taking anything? You know? Yes. What are you taking? Now you're breaking up. Say that again. <laughs> what are you taking? Um, I still have your uh, bus sign from uh, Las Vegas. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. You looking for Fred? Yes. He's on the road to the river. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, I got another call coming in. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to get back to you. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Del Bunch. Hello. Del Bunch. Hello. Yes, it's Freddy. Yes. What's going on? 
Who's this? I'm your twin brother. Hang on just a second. Pardon me? Hang on. Um, I, I'm on the other line. Hang on. You know? Hello? 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 What's going on? Well, why this strange phone call? What's going on with you? I didn't call anyone. I got a call, and I got a call, a couple of calls last night from a Palmdale number, and then I got a call from an unknown number. And then I got a call this morning again from a Palmdale number. And then this call came in, and it was, um, it just says unknown. Where are you calling from? Is it? This is Fred. Yeah, say hi, Fred. Why say don't you I... believe me? Yeah, I'm your twin brother. I still have your uh, bus sign from uh, Las Vegas. You're not taking anything, are you? Just say hi, Fred, and I will know this isn't a recording. Is this Freddie Herbert? Just say hi, Fred. Okay, I got another call coming in. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have to get back to you. Bye. Yeah, this is the guy you're listening to a soundboard. Sir, do you want to give me your name and number, and I'll give it to the police? Yeah. How you doing? My name is Chris. I'm from Boston. Oh. Somebody just called you on a voice over IP line and they connected both of us. I got a call you. And your your uh, voice over IP line? Yeah. And your name is Chris what? What's your cell phone number? Oh hang up on the uh, lines. Yeah, how you doing? My name is Chris. I'm from Boston. Somebody just called you on a voice over IP line and they connected both of us. Sir. I got a call to you. This is a Chris. Yeah. Bell Bunch. Hello. Hello. Who is there? You know who you talking to about? Bitch, I'm gonna tell you this. And I mean business, motherfucker. Bell Bunch. What's wrong, Sergeant? Bitch? What are you, are you, uh, are you having fun? Stupid motherfucker. Why don't you go get a bottle and go sit under a tree? You kill my fucking black ass, that's what the fuck you do. Faggot motherfucker. Bell Bunch. Sure, I don't know who the fuck you are. Okay. Bellbines, I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. Why are you so mad at me? Bellbines. Hello? I am. In the yell. Dude, this is the kind of shit. These well, why the fuck, fuck, ma'am? These are the kind of fucking idiots I have to put up with. Bellbines. Hello? Uh, I, I'm answering. Bellbines. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I could hear you. Okay, well, don't say hello then. What? Well, I, I'm just being nice. I, I'm on another line too. What can I do for you? You, you get me out of jail. Where are you in jail? The L.A. one. What's your booking number? My number? Goodbye. No, fuck you. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'll beat your ass. Bell bunch. Hi. Bell? Hi. Oh, can I, can you get guys help me and my, my, my brother to get out of jail? You're the same guy that told me you were in jail. Wait, who? Where's your brother in jail? What are you talking about? Which jail is he in? Uh, the one that you get raped in, in the asshole. Bellbines. Fuck my dick, bitch. Bellbines. Hi. You know what? What? Take your childish butt and go someplace, okay? Well, like where? Bellbines. Hi. Yes? How, how can you help me? Pardon me? Do you want to bail me out? Hello? Hi. Hi. Do you want to bail me out? 
Where are you in jail? I'm in jail, the LA. Okay, which jail? LA. What's your name? LA County. Jose what's your name? Jose Ramirez. What's your what's your phone number? My phone number, I'm in jail. I don't have a phone number. Okay, who am I gonna call the brother that, Jose Ramirez? Huh? You call my parents. What's your phone number? For my parents? Yes. Six nine? Five four? 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 <laughs> Slim Shady. Dude, this is the kind of idiot I have to. This, this guy will call me for hours here because he doesn't have anything better to do. He's probably got an IQ of about one. Goodbye, sir. You said uh, you spelled the hundred wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. So here's the guy's number. But it's your flow. Well, lunch. Hello? Hi. See you again. Who? Okay, may I, what's your name? May I help you? My name is Carlos. What can I do for you? To suck my balls. Okay. Bell Lounge. Hi, hi, faggot. Do you again, idiot? Uh, who, did you call me an idiot? I'm going to go over there and beat you up. I'm Big Daddy. Bell Lounge. Hello? Hello? All right, now who are you? Did you come all the way? Quit calling. You're, you're my brother. Bell Bunch. Deputy Martin from the Sheriff's Department. Are you are you calling here? I am calling. Are you are you calling here? No. Stop calling here. You want to suck somebody dick, you call them faggots. Bell Bunch. Hello? Hello, Who Bell. is this? You know what? Whoever you are, quit calling me. Who the fuck are you? Bell Bunch. Excuse me? Jesus. Right. Who is this? Bell Bunch. Who gave you my number, you goddamn fucking asshole? Well, you guys are... Pr Bell Bunch. Can you help get my cousin out of jail? No. Bell Bunch. Uh, this is... Eldorado Security. What do you need? Uh, Eldorado Security. Hello? What can I do for you? We're not calling you. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, this is Eldorado Security. Well, good night. Oh, yes. Upland Police Department. Hello, this is Life Alert. Automated Systems. Life alert has been activated at the following location, and this person may be in danger. If you would like information about the location of the person who may be in danger, please say yes or no now. Yes. Thank you. This call has originated from... I'm Fred Herbert and I'm a bell bondsman. Please hold. Your call is being connected. Can you get anybody on that? Bell Bunch. Hello? 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 Hi, this is Upland Police Department. We're getting a call from Life Alert. Do you have Life I'm Alert? I'm sorry, what? This is Upland Police Department. Do you live in Upland? Can you hear me? Who is this? Hello? 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 Upland Police Department. And who's this? Hello? I'd like to talk to Carrie. Hello? You know what? I've been getting calls all day long. I've had 30 calls today. You have the wrong number. Hello, sir? What, what's going on here?
I don't know. This is a police department. We get a num we get an automated um, message from Life Alert, and then it rings to your number. So we I don't, don't know, know why this is happening. My name's Fred Herbert. Okay, I can hardly understand you on this phone. I don't know what's going on. You may want to check with your phone company. I'm not calling anybody. I'm Fred Herbert, and I'm a bail bondsman. Okay, well, I mean, I believe that you're not calling anyone. We're 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 just getting these um, calls, and they're connecting to your number. So you may want to check with your phone company and see what's going on. Hey, you know what, you fucking asshole? Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? Are you serious? We got along fine. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? No, I'm not taking any drugs or drinking. I'm calling I've got your phone people. number, and I'm going to wring your fucking neck. Okay, you do that. Goodbye. Evelyn Fire, this is Laura. Can I help you? Hello, this is Life Alert, Automated Systems. Life Alert has been activated at the following location, and this person may be in danger. If you would like information about the location of the person who may be in danger, please say yes or no now. Yes. Thank you. This call has originated from... I'm Fred Herbert and I'm a bell bondsman. Please hold, your call is being connected. Bell lines. Hello? 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 Did you set off your life alert? No, I did not. I am, no, I am being, no, I did not. Okay. Okay, we had a, the, this is the fire department. It looks like it was called to us. So. What department, what city? Upland. Well, we've reported these prank calls to the police department, and nobody's helping us. So I don't know who this is. They've done this to us in Pomona, now in Upland, and there's no life alert. Okay. Uh, would you like me to transfer you to our Upland Police Department? No, they don't help us at all. So we have the bell bond officer on Euclid, okay, well, and make sure I've okay. talked to a detective there over and over again, and nobody helps us, so... Uh, we've been getting these prank calls for a couple of years now, and there's some sick person out there that's doing this, and I don't know who it is. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. I'm sorry it happened. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Wow. Bell Bunch. Hello. 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 Who are you? Are you called me? No, I didn't call you. You called me. Well, Who I'm sorry this? I didn't call. This is our second call from this number. It's an old man. Are you okay? He said, we call him. Bell Bunch. Hello. Hi. May I ask who's calling? Hello? 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 Excuse me? Hello? And who's this? You called me. May I ask who's calling? You know what? I've been getting calls all day long. What, what's going on here? I have no clue, but somebody from the 661 area code has called us four times in a row. and then I've had 30 calls today. Who am I calling, sir? You're in North Carolina. You're calling someone in North Carolina. Where are you calling from? I'm a bell bondsman. I just told you. I'm not calling anybody. You're... Well, our phone keeps ringing, and you're on the other end when I answer. I'm You're a Fred bondsman? Herbert, and I'm a bell bondsman. That is strange. The first call we said it said it was a life alert. But it's I apologize to anything area that you? happened. Where are you calling from? Or where are you? I'm not calling anybody. I don't know who in the fuck you are. Please you don't you call me back. I just told you. Okay, please.
Hello, Hello? this is Life Alert, Automated Systems. Life Alert has been activated at the following location, and this person may be in danger. If you would like information about the location of the... You are being transferred to... Police Department Why are you acting like this? Look there, please. Hello, this is Life Alert, Automated Systems. Life Alert has been activated at the following location, and this person may be in danger. If you would like information about the location of the person who may be in danger, please say yes or no now. Yes. Thank you. This call has originated from... I'm Fred Herbert and I'm a bell bondsman. Please hold. Your call is being connected. Please remember to speak clearly and loudly because this person may be elderly and hard of hearing. Bill Bunch. Hi, uh, this is Vinny from Montclair Police. Did you activate uh, an alert? You know, we have somebody uh, that's doing that. We've contacted the Upland Police Department about them doing this on our lines, but no, we don't have life alert. Okay. I don't know. They've, okay. they've been... Uh, What's you your address? figure out who it... I'm in Upland. You're in Upland. You can, and you're you with um, Fred... Who, you're Fred you? Averts Bailbond? Yes. Okay. If you can figure out who's doing this, we'd sure like to get rid of them. They've been doing this to us for several years now. Okay, yeah, because this is the Montclair Police Department. All right. Yeah. I don't know who in the fuck you are. How, did, how, could they, how could they possibly do this? Are you taking some I kind of drugs no or idea. drinking? You hear, do you hear them talking in the background? Yeah, I do. You know what? Let me transfer you over to dispatch. Okay? No. Okay. Hold on just a second. Stop these annoying phone calls. I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. Why are you doing this, sir? Yeah, just Hello? because uh, John read the receipt. Pardon Hello? Me? And who's this? Hello? Hello? And who's this? This is Montclair Police Department. Are you a transfer dispatch? How can I help you? What, what's going on here? I'm Fred Herbert, and I'm a I don't know, sir. Here. I had a call transferred to me. I don't know who you are. What's going on? My name's Fred Herbert. I just told you. I'm a bell bondsman. I don't know why this is happening. What's happening, sir? What, what's going on here? I'm not calling anybody. Sir, this is Montclair, sir. I'm sorry. You were transferred to me by someone else. I'm not sure. I have your name wow. as Fred. You're calling the Montclair Police Department. What did you need? Did you I'm need Fred us to respond to something? I'm Fred Herbert, and I'm a bell bondsman. Why are you so mad okay. at me? Okay, where are you at, sir? I'm a bell bondsman. I just told you. You have the wrong number. Fred? Wow. Fred, can you hear me? Stop these annoying phone calls. Okay, Fred, I will stop them. Can I get your address? No. I've got your phone You're number, and I'm going to ring your phone fucking neck. Okay, Fred, I need your address, please. Hey, you know what, you fucking asshole. I've okay, got I'm going to disconnect, phone. sir. Bell bonds. <laughs> Fuck you, you stupid cocksucker. Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? Uh-huh. Hello, can you hear me, sir? Yes.
Okay, this is a Pomona police. Do you have a life alert user at your house? Bell Bunch. Hello. Excuse me? Can you hear me, sir? Pardon me? Can you hear me? I just told you. What, what's going on here? Okay, I'm trying to tell you, but I was asking you questions. You're not answering me, so I was making wow. sure you could hear me. I'm Fred Herbert. Do you I'm have a, a bondsman. Do you have a life alert user what, at your what's house? What's going on here? I'm Fred Herbert, and I'm a bell bondsman. Okay. I don't know what's going on. That's what wow. I'm trying to figure out. The life yeah, alert just because your call to say that the life alert had been activated. And apologize to anything that happened. You have the wrong number. Okay. Do you need the paramedics or the police for any reason? Uh, who am I calling, sir? Okay. I told you, this is the Pomona police calling you, apparently. No. Okay. Nobody there needs the paramedics or Why police are you for acting any reason? Like this? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Why are you Why are you doing this? I've had 30 calls today. You have the wrong number. Why are you acting okay. like this? I haven't called you 30 times. This is the very first time I've called you. You're going you you to act this way? You. Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? No, this is what, not my way of getting out of my here? responsibilities. No. Stop are these serious? annoying phone calls. Are you being serious? Goodbye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, Gregory Stevens, bye. My name's Fred Herbert. What, what's going on here? I'm sorry? You know what? I've been getting calls all day long. Stop these annoying phone calls. You're getting phone calls from who, sir? I just told you. You have the wrong number. I've got your okay, phone number, I, and I'm going to ring your I didn't your call you, sir. This is the police neck. department. Hey, you know what, you but fucking asshole? My name's Fred Herbert. What, what's going on here? What's your address? I'm Fred Herbert, and I'm a bail bondsman. Okay, I I heard your name, sir. That you're calling the police department. I'd like to talk to Carrie. Carrie, who? No. Why are you acting like this? What's your address, sir? Why are you Why are you doing this? We got this along fine. Are, are you taking this some kind of This is the police department. What am I doing? Excuse me. I said you're calling the police department. What is it that I'm doing? Is this Gregory Stevens? I, this is what? Is this Gregory Stevens? No. I'd like to talk to Carrie. Carrie who? I'd like to talk to Carrie. Okay, Carrie who, sir? This why is the you, Pomona Police Department that you're calling. Why are you why are you doing this? Why are you acting what am I like doing? this? Is this your way of what getting am, out of your responsibilities? What am I doing, sir? I just told you. No, you didn't tell me. I'd like to talk to Carrie. Okay, Carrie, who? Hey, you know what, you fucking asshole. I'd like to talk okay, to I'm, Carrie. I'm not, okay, I'm going to hang up on you. I'm not going to sit here and listen to you I've got your phone number, and I'm going to ring your fucking... Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Okay, Gregory Stevens, bye. Hello, this is Life Alert, Automated Systems. Life alert has been activated at the following location, and this person may be in danger. If you would like information about the location of the person who may be in danger, please say yes or no now. Yes. Thank you. This call has originated from... I'm Fred Herbert and I'm a bell bondsman. Please hold, your call is being connected. Urgent notification. The security alarm for this location has been activated. Switching to video mode. Burglary in progress. Burglary in progress. Por favor, por donde falla muchas gracias. Come on, please. Hello? Hello? This is Pam. How can I help you? Hello? Hello, this is Pomona Police. Pardon me? 
This is the police department. Can I help you? You had the wrong number. You called me, sir. Oh, no. Is the uh, number ringing now? Are you even getting a I'm lot sorry? of calls? I'm sorry? You're getting a lot of calls from where? You have a really bad, bad connection. Well, I've had 30 calls. You know, it's this guy calling the Pomona Police Department and then call forwarding to me, call forwarding them to me, and I'm hanging up on them. You know, we've had the Pomona Police come over to the automobile and try and speak somehow or another and tell them that it's a uh, lifeline. You know what I mean? Well, uh, to some sick motherfucker on the phone, you know, that never you, you know about my, uh, yeah, well, that's what it is. It's, it's, I mean, I don't know how many people are, are, uh, prank calling us, but this guy does the lifeline thing. Uh, yeah, you know, I fall in and I can't get up. I mean, they come over to check to make sure we're okay. It's just a, yeah, so, you know, I'm hanging up on him. I'm not talking to him because he won't stop all day. I, I just wanted to tell you I've got the phone busy out right now for a few minutes. And you try to call me and you get a busy, uh, they didn't call me on my cell phone. Because I'm just trying to stop him. Or, or, he'll, or, or he'll spend the next 15 hours with me, you know what I mean? And record me and, you know, I don't understand this, but... Uh, completely, but I know I have to ignore him and get fucks our business up. And yeah. But okay, I just wanted to tell you what's going on. All right. Bye. I'm having chest pain. Emotion <laughs> Bellbones. Hi, this is the police department. Why did you call here? Did you need assistance? Bellbones. Did, did someone just call you? Sir, this is the police department. Come on, Rekha, Stacy. And who's Hello? this? Hello? I'd like to talk to Carrie. Um, I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. You're breaking up. If you'd like to My come back, Fred please. Herbert. I'm a bell bondsman. I'd like to talk to Carrie. Come on, Rebecca, Stacy. I'm Fred Herbert, and I'm a bell bondsman. I'd like to talk to Carrie. Carrie? I'm a bell bondsman. I just told you. Um, sir, we have a really bad connection. I cannot understand you. My name's Fred Herbert. I'm a bell bondsman. I'd like to talk to Carrie. Okay, we don't have a Carrie that works in this department. Pardon you know me? What area you need? No. I don't know why this is happening. Why are you acting like this? I'd like to talk to Carrie. I'm on the record, Stacy. Goodbye. Record Heather. Why are you doing this? What? I'm sorry. Why are you Why are you doing this? Who's this? What What's going on here? Uh, how can I help you? I'm a bell bondsman. My name's Fred Herbert. I'd like to talk to Carrie. To Carrie? I'd like to okay, talk to Carrie. Okay, there's no Carrie in the, in the records bureau. Is this your way of getting out what? of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? I, I, I don't understand why you're so mad at me. Why are you acting like this? I'm sorry. My name's Heather. I don't know. Um, what is your name wow. again? I'm Fred Herbert, and I'm what? a bell bondsman. Fred Herbert? Okay. My name's Fred Herbert. I just told you. Okay, and which bell bonds place do you work for? My name's Fred Herbert. I'm a bell bondsman. 
What, what's going on here? Um, can I ask you wh which bail, bail bonds place you work at? I just told you. I'm Fred Herbert. Bail bonds. Okay. Um, hold on a second, please. Fred. Hello. Is this Gregory Stevens? Fred, it's Lieutenant McDonald. Excuse me? It's McDonald. It's the police Pardon department. Me? You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. What, what's going on here? Are you home? No. Where are you? You have the wrong number. I've had 30 okay. calls today. What, what's going on here? You tell me what's going on. You've been drinking? We got along fine. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? That's what I'm asking you. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? Not today. Wow. Where are you at? I don't are know why open? this is happening. Fred, where are you? I, I, I don't understand why you're so mad at me, sir. Wow. Come on, director, Stacy. I don't know why this is happening. Hi, sir. Um, who did you need? And apologize to anything that happened. Um, I gladly apologize. What What is it that you need so I can direct you to the right area? My name is Fred Herbert. You know what? I've been uh, getting calls yeah. all day long. Mr. Herbert. I've had mm -hmm. 30 calls today. Stop uh -huh. these annoying phone calls. I'm sorry. Um, hold on one second, Mr. Herbert. Okay. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Can I help you? Yeah. No, that's not him. That's somebody else. Ryan, well, here's uh, somebody on the line right here that they've called forwarded to. Can I help you? They're calling us now. They are? Yeah. Yeah, well, the, whoever it is that's calling, I just conferenced it over to you. Okay. I'll, and I'll and and it's not us, and I sure would like to put an end to it. They're they're okay. killing me, and they're killing the Upland Police Department because they don't have the staff to answer all these calls. But thank you. Okay. Take bye. care of yourself. Bye. Okay, Gregory Stevens. Bye. He said he forwarded. He got a call at the office and he forwarded to here. Oh. Come on, I read your Stacy. Bell Hello. 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 Fred. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes? Well, you know, this, I didn't call you, and somebody has patched us through, Ron. Okay. Just disconnect your I don't know who this call is. Pardon me? Dis disconnected. I've got your phone number, and I'm going to wring your fucking neck. See? Now that's not me. This is something they recorded on for me a couple of years ago. Okay. It's a great thing to be for me to say, but I was frustrated with them. and So that's not me. That's a recording that's going on. They're probably recording us right now, adding to their uh, stuff. But uh, I'm telling you, the... Uh, uh, the FBI really needs to be called on this because they're calling law enforcement and really screwing things up, you know, and reporting fake crimes. And But uh, thank you, Ron. 
I, I, I don't understand why you're so mad at me, sir. See? See? Now that's not me. Are you taking some kind of drugs or drinking? If you're Gregory over there, Stevens, Ryan, that's not me. That's a recording of me. Is this Gregory Stevens? I'm hanging up. Bellbinds. Yeah, how you doing? My name is Chris. I'm from Boston. What can I do for you? I'm in jail. Where are you in jail? Boston. What's your booking number? 80 65 228 130. Hello? 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 This is Fred. Yes? I can't hear you. Fred Herbert? Oh, hi, Fred. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? Well, why this strange phone call? What's going on with you? <laughs> How are you? Hang on just a second. Okay. Wow. Bellbine. What's the matter? Fred, I'm in a bad place. I'm doing my hair right now. Can I call you when I leave? Sure. Who's this? Who is it? It's Angie. I'm sorry, who? I I don't know. Fred, do you know this who you called? <laughs> yeah, did you know who you called? <laughs> I, uh, who did I call? You called Angie. <laughs> uh, I did? Yes. <laughs> when did I the call you? Call? You just called me right now. <laughs> oh, well, hi. I, I just you? plugged my I just plugged my phone and there's uh, I, you're not the first person today that said I called him I I don't know what's going on with my phone but okay let me call you back in just a little while did okay? I say anything when I called no you just said I think you asked who it was or something <laughs> I, you think what let me call I've you got back a prank, I I've, pardon uh, me. I can't talk right now because my hair is all wet. Call me so I back. I need to call you back. I will. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello? Hello? Hi, Fred. Hi. I, I didn't hang up. It, the phone was dead. I don't know what's going on. I truly don't. You know what? I've been getting calls all day long that I'm calling somebody, and I'm not calling anybody. Yeah, that's me. I'm getting calls, and I'm not calling anybody. So maybe there's a bad connection in this area, because, you know, I'm, a, I'm an up and two. I don't know. Yeah, just because uh, John read the receipt <laughs> wrong to you, you're going you're gonna to act this way? Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What'd you say? Hey, wait, you know what? Fred, do you know who I am, Fred? No. Okay, Fred, I went to school with Lois and Carol, and I saw you at the class reunion. Wow. And I invited you to my party two times in Claremont. Okay. Do you, do you remember Andy from Giant RV? Yes. Oh, you know who I am now? Yes. Oh, okay. I tried to call and apologize to anything that happened. Nothing's happened. We 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 didn't have anything. That was, we weren't mad at each other about anything. Okay. You Why and you I never much? had nothing to say to each other back. Right? Do you want to give me your name and number and I'll give it to the police? For what, Fred? You prick. Fred! Yes? We saw, we saw each other at the class reunion, and I was with Carol and Lois. You fucking asshole. I've got your phone number, and I'm going to wring your fucking neck. Why would you do that to me? You're talking to my plant. Your what? I'm a bell bondsman. What, what's going on here? 
I don't have any idea what's going on. I have invited you to two of my house parties. Do you remember that? Yes. And you couldn't come because you had to work that night? Okay. And we were always nice to each other. And I told you when I had another party, I would call you. But I haven't called you because I haven't had another party. I've been in a hospital. And you know Carol? You know Lois? Is that right? Is that right? Yes. So we're not mad at each other. Why would we be be mad at each other? Why are you so mad at me? Why are you so mad at me? No, I'm not. I'm not mad at anybody. Excuse me? I have a, I'm not mad at you. Why? Why would I be mad at you? Sure, I don't know who in the fuck you are. Yeah, you do, Fred. You know who I am. No. We had, yeah, we, we, we went. I went to the class reunion, the Friday night class reunion. I saw you, and I, I went and saw Carol and Lois, because we grew up together. There's nothing to be mad about. I think there's nothing to be mad about. Nothing. Wow. Remember you told me, you said, I'd like to come to the party? Because Lois was, remember I told you Lois was coming? I want, you know, so I, I know you know Lois from way back, you know. Yes. So I, so that's. The only time we talked was talking about the party. That's all. Yes. But I have never called you today. Today, it's, I don't know what's happening with the phone. I've never called you today. Why are you acting like this? Oh, God, Fred. I don't know what to say to you. I, I'm not acting bad at all. What do you want me to say? You fucking asshole. Back to your fucking worse, asshole. I just don't know why you're talking nasty like this. I, I don't, I haven't done anything wrong. You see the kind of fucking idiots I have to put up with. I just, I don't understand why you're so angry, because I have not called you. The phone rings, and I pick it up, and it's you. I, I don't understand what, well, either we have a connection with our phone, but I don't understand why. I don't know why. I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. I'm not a gentleman. I'm, I am a lady. I'm Angela. Wow. I've, been, I've had 30 calls today from, and, and, uh, that I'm calling somebody. I'm not calling anybody. I know. I'm the same way. I, I haven't called anybody except my children. That's all. And I, but when I phone rings, it, I pick it up, and it's you there. So I don't, I, like I said, it must be a bad Bye. connection. But I'm not doing. I'm not doing anything because I know who you are, and I, I. We've talked very nice to each other before. We went to both. We went to Monrovia High School together. I don't know what else to say. I, I just know that how I know you is from school. Yes. That's all. Okay. I think you graduated in '62 or '63, and I graduated with Lois in '65. Probably got an IQ of about one. I have an IQ of one? Yes. Oh, okay. Whatever you say. Okay. Why are you why are you doing this? Doing what? What am I doing? Why are you acting like this? Uh, I d- I really don't know what you want me to say cuz I'm not You have the wrong That's number. I'm just talking to you. <laughs> and Where every conversation we've ever had in the past was always very nice. I always invited you to my house because I saw you at the reunion. And yes. I invited other people we went to school with. That's all. Okay. Just say hi, Fred. Just say hi, hi Fred, and I will know this isn't a recording. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. I just wanted to make Fred? sure it was really you. Yes, Fred Herbert. <laughs> yes. Yes. Were you in jail? Okay, Fred. 
I got to go to be with my grandchild very sick today, and I will talk to you later. Where Bye-bye. are you in jail? You fucking asshole. Bell Vines. Hi, Fred. Hi. Hello. I can't hear you. Hello. Okay, Fred, I went to school with Lois and Carol, and I saw you at the class reunion. And this is a recording. I don't know what's happening with the phone. I've never called you today. Fred! Yes? Oh, God, Fred. I really well, don't know what you want me to say. I don't know if this is a prank call or not. I don't know what to say to you. I, I'm not asking you that at all. Well, hi. I have invited you to two of my house parties. Do you remember that? Yes. Do you know who I am? Yes. Maybe there's a bad connection in this area. No. We were oh, always yeah. nice to each other. And I told you when I had another party, I would call you. Yes. Hi. I'm not mad at you. Okay. Okay. Because I've, I, I, I've, I've gotten prank calls from you before because I'm getting pranked. Why? Pardon me? Doing what? I, they're, I'm on YouTube and they prank call me all the time. Oh, okay. In fact, I don't know whether I'm really talking to you or a recording. Yeah, you do, Fred. I do what? I can't hear you. Pardon me? You know who I am now? Yes. I'm Angela. Huh? We were always nice to each other. And I told you when I had another party, I would call you. I think this is a recording. Is that right? I don't understand. Hello? Hello? Hi, Fred. Well, then I don't maybe know what this is you. <laughs> how are you? I don't know what else to say. I, I just know that how I know you is from school. Yes. I went to the class reunion, the Friday night class reunion. Yes, I know exactly who you are. How are you? Just fine. I know I'm the same way. Well, the, I, I get these calls all day long from uh, a prankster, and I just got one a little while ago, so... Is that right? Uh-huh. But I don't understand why. Uh, I don't either. So what's going on? Except my children, that's all. Because I haven't had another party. I've been in a hospital. Hang on just a second. Okay. Hello? Hello? Well, then, this is Miss Correct. <laughs> you know who I am, Fred? Yes. I think uh, I think this is a recording. Oh, am I God, talking Fred. to you? Say yes. Oh, God, Fred. Yeah, you do, Fred. Say yes. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, because this goes on all the time. I, I got a call from you, and it was a recording, and you were getting your, you were in a uh, hair salon, and your hair was wet. Do you remember that? Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. Fred! Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Whatever you say. So I have not called you. The phone rings, and I pick it up, and it's you. Yes, I'm getting pranked. I, I haven't called anybody. Are you calling me now, or is this a prank? Yeah. I don't know what's happening with the phone. I've never called you today. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Yellow. Hello. Hello. This is Fred. 
Hey, Fred, what are you doing? Just say hi, Fred, and I will know this isn't a recording. Hi, Fred, this is John. This is actually my voice. I'm sorry, this is who? Hello? Well, why this strange phone call? What's going on with you? I've got your phone number, and I'm going to ring your fucking neck. Oh, that would be you, the big homosexual. Bell Bunch. Hello? Hey, Fred, what are you doing? Hang on, okay? Okay. Hey. Oh, just a second. Hello, just John? This is John. Hey, what's happening? Not a whole lot. What are you doing? Bell Bunch. Hello. Mike. Mike. Are you asking for Mike? Yes, I am. He's not here. Who is this? Who is Who this? This is Mike. Who is this asshole? Wow. Hello? Is this Fred? Yes. Fred who? Well, if you don't know, then then this is uh, BS. Bye. Where are you located, Fred? Bellbinds. I'm sorry? Hello? Hello? This is the Upper Police Department. May I help you? This is a, that's somebody pranking me. Bye. Bellbinds. Hello? Bell Bunch. Hello. Hello. This is the Upland Police Department. How may I help you? Uh, I'm I'm afraid this is a prank call. I'm not making them. You've gotten them from us before. I'm sorry. Are you the bail bond? Yes. Okay. No problem. I, I apologize. No, it's okay. Just try it again. Bye. Bye-bye. Bell Bunch. You have a nice Christmas. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Bell Bunch. Hello? 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 On there? Yeah, how you doing? If this is who I think it is, not so good. Sorry, say what? Would you say? Yeah, good, okay. good night. Oh, oh, Don't come on! Why are you acting like this? Why are you acting like this? Bell Bunch. Uh, yes. Good evening. Can I get uh, directions, please? To. To your. Uh, they gave me your card. I'm not. I'm kind of new to the city. My stupid well, I have several this. offices, sir. What? Uh, where? Where uh, are you? Pomona. Okay, I have an. Uh, and, and this is regarding. Um, <laughs> my brother got drunk, and um, they told me they gave me your card and told me that you can get him out. So, who, I, who I is they? Like I said, I don't know where I'm calling. Who who is they, sir? Who gave you my card? Uh, a gentleman that I ran into at the place. He said that you got somebody at what, else. At, yeah. Ran into at what place, sir? At the jail. At the Pomona jail? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I'm right across the street. 435 oh. West Mission. Oh, Are perfect. you at the Pomona jail? Yes. Okay. okay I'll, just, I'll just head across right now. Yeah, see the big red letters that say bell binds and the neon clock <laughs> in the window? 
Oh, goodness. Yes, I'll be there in a second. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? <laughs> Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Are you leaving? Yes, we are. So what are looking at right now? Because it looks like more than... You're talking to my plant. We, uh, the cat... Albans, is this Gregory Stevens? Well, I'll tell you. Albans, is this Gregory Stevens? Albans, Albans. John Miller from the U.S. Forest Service joining us live on the telephone right now. And Albans. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Why are you doing this? Yeah, why are you... Bell Bunch. Why are you doing this? Bell Bunch. Why are you... Why are you doing this? Turn on the TV. Why are you doing this? Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bill Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Bill Bunch. I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. Bill Bunch. Why are you doing this? Bell Bunch. Why are you Why are you doing this? Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Hold on, honey. Okay. I'm waiting. Bell Bunch. Better not do another call. Bell Bunch. I'm going to tell him to come after you. I swear to God, I will. Bell Bunch. One more call. If you do one more call, he's going to come and look for you. Bell Bunch. Who is, the, who is there with you, Mr. Curry? Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? What? What? Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Even on my show? Hold on. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Hi, you've reached Herbert Bell Bunch. No one can take your call right now, but if you leave your name and number, we'll call you back as soon as we can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Just John? Hi, John. Maybe you should be more prepared for this call. Car. Hi, you've reached Herbert Bell Bonds. No one can take your call right now, but if you leave your name and number, we'll call you back as soon as we can. Thank you. Um, the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Uh, hello, this is a uh, message for Fred Hurler. My name is Robert Meech. I'm calling from uh, BBC Television. Um, I'm a reporter and uh, I work for, I make a program called Panorama. And uh, we, we, we were interested in doing a, a, an interview with you about your internet fame on YouTube. We're making a, uh, 
a panorama, a documentary about um, prank calls and its implications on businesses and stuff. I was wondering if you'd like to participate because of considering your considerable uh, YouTuber fame. Uh, if you could phone me back, please, on 408-644-6562, I'd greatly appreciate it. My name is Robert Nish, and this is a message for Fred Herbert. Thank you very much. You stay out of it. Bell bunch. Hello, is this Fred Herbert? Hello? Who is this? Uh, my name's Greg. Your phone number, Greg? Uh, 01787. <laughs> oh no! He has my phone number. Bunch. Um, hello. Um, I'm I'm inquiring about your uh, services. I'm uh, in prison at the moment, but I'd like to get out very much. I'm sorry. What did you say? Uh, I'm in jail at the moment. I've just been arrested. Where? I'm here, uh, San Quentin. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Bill Barnes. Bill Barnes. Hello, Fred. Fred, please don't hang up. I just want to talk to you a second. Fred? It sounds like you're listening. I just wanted to uh, tell you that... Um, I'm one of the people who pranks you from the uh, UK. I just wanted to tell you that you're an absolute inspiration to me. You had a profound influence on my life. I consider you my idol and my hero, and I love you very much, Fred. <laughs> Hello, Ange. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Fine. Hi, this is Bill from the city courthouse. Yeah, I wanted to take some time to uh, ask you a few questions about some discrepancies we have. And you're uh, from where? Now, hold on just a second. Let me explain. Hello? Hello. Well, there seems to be some unpaid uh, vehicle tickets that need to be cleared up. Uh huh. I well, if I can just go over those with you right quick, is that okay? Sure. All right, sure. Uh, the first one, it looks like there is a uh, parking ticket here. It hasn't been paid. It was uh, back in '08 for thirty-five dollars. Are you aware of that? Okay. Um, well, that needs to be resolved as soon as possible. That's kind of important. Uh, there's another one here. Can I keep going? See, this is. It's uh, it's actually a, a citation for being too stupid to drive. Bell bunch. Hi, Fred. Can you give me a phone number now? Hello. <laughs> Hello. You're crazy. You won't go to heaven. You better like shut up and go to heaven. You're not my brother. Bell bunch. I'm gonna cut your dick off and I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna fry it up. This slice this, it. And I'm gonna make you watch. Steve Steenerson, these are the calls I'm getting constantly. I'm gonna make you eat some too. Listen to this. Can I get some help, please? Please. No, Bunch. I feel bad. I feel terrible. I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? No, Bunch. Hello, Fred. Hello? Hello, Fred. Herbert. Hello, Fred. Why do you keep calling me? 
Hello, Brian. Hello. You live in Red in the uh, condos at Red Hill Green. Well, I've met you. Hello. <laughs> you live in the condos at Red Hill Green. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Bunch. Bell Bunch. <laughs> oh, is this uh, Herbert Bell Bunch? Yes. Um, yeah, I need to bail my brother out. Okay. Um, where is he and what's his name? He's in Walnut uh, Jail. Okay. His name his is name? Uh, <laughs> his name is uh, Homer Scott. His name is what? Uh, Homer Scott. I can't understand you at all. Uh, Homer Scott. Can you spell that for me? Yeah, uh, H-O-M-E-R-S-B-O-T-T, -T, Homer Scott. Was your first name Homer, H-O-M-E-R? Yeah. And the last name is? Last name, uh, Scott. How do you spell that last name? Uh, S E O. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I can't. What, what's his, what's his last name again? Uh, Scott. Yes. Scott? Yeah, Scott. S C O T D. S C O T D. Yes, sir. Okay, and your name? Uh, Charles Cronin. I mean, Charles. what's your phone number? Uh, nine zero nine two seven five seven one seventy six. I mean, seven one seven six. Was that two seven five seven one seven six? Yes, sir. Two seven five. And your first name is Charles. Uh, all I hear is like doll or something. What's your first name? Uh, Charles. 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 Yes. Okay, and you right. want to bail your brother out, and he's in Walnut. And his name is Homer Scott? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay, let me look him up here. How long has he been in custody at Walnut? Um, let me see, because I can't remember too much. Uh, I, I <laughs> Believe me, I, I wish I could understand you, but I'm really having a hard time. Yeah, it's just right now I have a cold. I think it was uh, two years or something. How many? What? I think it was two years. How long has he been in custody? Two years. Two years? He wouldn't uh, be a walnut. I'm not too sure because more information. Oh, it was five hours. All right. When did your brother, you want to bail your brother out, when did he get arrested? Uh, five hours ago. Just, uh, oh, okay, because yeah. you're telling me two years ago. I'm sorry, it's just, uh, I need to get my information straight. Just... Well, I don't see any record for a Homer Scott. Is that his name? Yeah. And Charles, you're at two seven five seven one seven six. Yes, sir. I'm going to have my agent John call you. Maybe he'll be able to hear you better. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Oh yes. Is this home? Yes, hello. Yes, it's Oh, uh, hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, hello. Charles there? Yeah. Yes? You have someone?
someone in jail? Yeah. Yes, sir. What's the person's name that's in jail? Uh, his name was Homer Scott. Yeah, well, I can't find him. Can't find him? No. Hello? Well, I'm taking my business elsewhere. Good day, sir. You do that. Bell Bunch. Yeah, I was going to ask why did you call me uh, before. Hello? You need to go to a different phone because we can't understand you. And um, your phone echoes. Ask, how... Oh, it echoes? Um, all right, I was just going to ask how come you called me before because that wasn't my number. I mean, that was my number. That wasn't. Pardon me? Um, you, you called me, right, before? You called me back? My agent, John, tried to call you back because I couldn't understand you, sir. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's just, uh, English isn't my first language, so, um... Well, it's not that. It's your phone. Oh, it's my phone. It's echoing. Okay. And he said, okay. Walnut, I'll just try to call Walnut and call you back. Okay. Bye. Bell bunch. Sir, I don't know why you're not helping me. My brother's over here. I'm why on the phone helping? with the jail. Hang on. Thank you very much. There's no Homer Scott in the Walnut Jail. Uh, just, he keeps calling me. I mean... He's there. I don't know what. Well, then you'll need to drive down there. Maybe he's under another name. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, he uses it. That's his name. I just talked to the jail. The number is 909-595-2264. You can call and ask for the jailer, and you can ask him, too. But they're telling me there's nobody named Homer Scott in jail. I've looked at it online. I don't find a Homer Scott. So he must yeah, be I mean, calling you from someplace else. Yeah, it's just he's, I mean, he, he keeps saying he's calling from Walnut. I mean, not. From where? Uh, Walnut. Yeah, I just, that's the number of the Walnut Jail. 909-595-2264, and they claim he's not there. Uh, yeah, because he, he's scared. I'm, I mean, uh, by any chance have you checked any jails? or? I checked in all of Los Angeles County on their computer, and I don't find him. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe Walnut or, but I, I think he was. But, uh, sure, he's, you're going to have to get more information. I don't know where he is. Uh, what's his date of birth? Um, wait, I'm bad with these cameras. Oh, it's, uh. Very seven. Uh, I, uh, I'm not understanding you. When I call you, your phone echoes. So I, I don't know what to tell you. We accept to call the Walnut Jail and then see if you can find him, get a better information, okay? And when he calls you, get his booking number. Okay, his booking. Uh, but his birthday is uh, 2799, uh, Okay. Okay, but, uh, yeah, his birthday is... Give uh, me a call. If you find out anything more, I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, but, yeah, uh, I was going to ask, uh, your office in Pomona, um, are you usually in the Upland one, or are you in the Pomona one? Sir, well, give me a call back when you know more. Know where your brother is. All right. Thank you.
Hello? Hello? Yes, um, I called you yesterday about my sister, um, but you never called me back. Um, What's your sister's name? Uh, Lafiel. I'm sorry? Lafiel. A, uh, L A F I E L. L A S I E L? L A F F. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't recognize that name, but you called yesterday? Yeah, I left a message. You left a message? Yeah, did you not get it or? What's your story? Give me her name again and so I can find out what you'd like me to find out. Okay, yeah, uh, she's, she's been calling us, like, freaking out. Um, Her name is Lafiel, L-A-F-I-E-L. Okay, L-A-S-I-E-L. Not S, not S, F, F, F is in Fred. Lafiel. Yes. L is in Lincoln, A is in Adam, F is in Frank, I is in Ida, E is in Edward, L is in Lincoln. Correct. In the last name? Abriel. Um, A B R I E L. And where is she in custody? Um, Walnut. And your name, sir? Um, my name is Frank. Is what? Frank. Frank. Mm -hmm. And your phone number, Frank? Um, 918-696-2788. And where's 918? That's in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, like she's a student. Is that where you are? Yeah, she's my, she's a student over there, but uh, my family's were from Oklahoma. She's a she's a what there? She's a student at over in California. Yeah, it sounds like you're you're uh, on a computer phone or something because I'm having a hard time understanding. Sorry. You. Um, you want me to go outside? Is maybe yeah maybe no, there's. That's okay. I, I we've got over this, so I think I've got it now. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna look for her online here. Okay. Um. So, will you give me a call back? A, you... I, well, I'm looking her up so that I can help you here. A B R I E L. Correct. Lafiel. L A F I E L. There's nobody in custody. I must have this wrong. Huh. L is in Lincoln, A is in Adam, F is in Frank, I is in Ida, E is in Edward, L is in Lincoln. Correct. And the last name is A is in Adam, B is in Boy, R is in Robert, I is in Ida, E is in Edward, L is in Lincoln. Correct, yeah. Yeah, that's her name. Okay, let me try it again. I'm looking through all of L.A. County for that name. And so you're talking about Los Angeles County Walnut Substation. That's what she told us, yeah. And she wouldn't be under any other name. I don't think so. I don't know. Well, I mean, that is her name. Yeah, right? that's her legal name, yeah. That's what her identification says? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's nobody with that name. Does she ever go by any other first name or any other last name? Not to my knowledge. That's really weird. Um, I'm sorry, what? Not, not, no, not to my knowledge, no. Okay, so her first name is Lafayette. Yes. And her last name is Abriel. Correct. Let me call Walnut. Hang on a minute. Now, okay. what's her date of birth? Um, March 15th, 1990. Okay, hang on a moment. Okay, thank you.
Frank? Yes, yes. When did she get booked in the, in the jail? Um, yesterday, I'm pretty sure it was. Yesterday? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what time? I'm not sure. She started calling us about, like, 3 in the afternoon. Okay, hang on. Family member says she started calling about three or four years ago. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm having no luck. That was the uh, jailer in the Walnut substation, and he checked there, and he, uh, they didn't have a uh, female uh, jailer, so they had sent the three gals they had yesterday to San Dimas, and they've all been released. So oh, okay, so Kelly out. Their, their names weren't anything like your who you're calling on. Okay, I don't know then. Yeah, you know, it's really weird. They um, have one uh, one system for all of L.A. County, and unless she's under a different name, we can't find her. Okay, I guess like I'll have to wait till she calls back and ask her what the hell is going yeah, on. Get her booking number. Okay, okay. So yeah, I'll call you back when I like know more what's going on. Sorry. Okay, I'm I'm sorry too. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. calling from Tony's Pizza. Uh, your pizza is out for delivery, but we're having problems uh, with your credit card. Yeah, it's a four four six three. Okay, well, somebody seven, eight, placed uh, nine, an order nine, nine, 20 minutes ago, eight, eight, uh, three four, medium cheese pizzas. They're, they're coming for delivery. They're out right now. Hello? Hello. You better not have hung up on me. Hello? Oh, fucking right. Yeah, hello? Bell runs. Hello. Hello. Hey. You there? Yeah, see, I get these prank calls. It's your neighbor. Prank calls. They've recorded me on YouTube. Yeah, your neighbor. Huh? Yeah, I want my newspaper back. He's still trying to talk to me. Hello. Yes, my newspaper every morning that comes to my house and that you come over and take it and bring it to your house. Oh, yeah, it says I take his newspaper every morning. I'm tired of playing with you. I can't hang up. That's why I'm calling. I'm Hello? Hi there. This is Susan Dave from Maximum Mail. What? 
we're just calling to remind you about your unpaid balance. What? Yes, you owe an outstanding balance of eighty-nine seventy-five. Who are you? Yes, you ordered a six-month supply of our Everlast Mail Enhancement product. Bellbunch. Who the fuck uses me? Bellbunch. Speak up, boy. Who is this? talking to, right? No. This is Fred Herbert with uh, yeah. Herbert Belvon. <laughs> All right, man. This... <laughs> Let me call you a bit later on. Hi. Uh, hey, I'm heading up the door right now. i got to run and go to this appointment right now. Do you go to the what? I'm just pulling up to an appointment. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you. Bill Bunch. Hey, um, I need to bail my grandma out of jail. Okay, what's your grandma's name? Her name is um Joan Anderson. You're gonna have to speak up. Um, her name is Joan Anderson. J O A N. Correct. 
Anderson, A R A N D E R S O N? Yes. Where's she in jail? Um, the Vista jail. Vista? Yeah. Okay, and do you have a booking number? No, I don't. It was just Date of birth? Yeah, it's um four sixteen fifty. You're really gonna have to speak up. I'm you're speaking so softly I can barely hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um it's four sixteen fifty four. Fifty four? Correct. And your name? My name is Kira. Carol? Kira. Okay, how do you spell that? K Y R A. K Y R A? Uh huh. And your phone number? 760. Was that 7607? Correct. Okay, let me look her up here. Do you know what she's in jail for? Oh, God, DUI. Pardon me? DUI. Normally, they let people go for that, but let's see. When did she get arrested? I think it was about two hours ago. Um, I talked to my aunt, so... You talked to who? I talked to my aunt, and she said it was um, DUI. I don't know if, if she had any other charges besides that, but... Yeah, sometimes, you know, usually on a misdemeanor DUI, they... Uh, they let people go, but let me see here. I'm I'm trying to pull up the San Diego. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and you're at seven six zero seven. That's correct. Let me, let me call them, and I'll call you back. Their website's not working for me. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello, Kara. Yeah. Hi, this is Fred Herbert. Hi. The um, uh, they don't have her at the county jail yet. Do you know what agency arrested her? Um, I believe it was Oceanside Police. Oceanside Police. They must still have her or be en route to the county jail with her? And uh, was it just a regular drunk driving? Um, that's what my aunt said, but um, knowing my Call grandma, Oceanside PD, see if they'll tell me anything, and I'll call you right back. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hi, Kara. Hi. I just called the... Uh, Oceanside Police Department, they're not familiar with your grandmother either. Uh, the dispatcher doesn't know anything about her having been arrested. Really? Yeah. And, you know, that's, you know, it's possible that uh, it didn't come out over the air or something like that, but uh, she's not at Vista, and according to the dispatcher, she's not at Oceanside. Uh, you want me to give you some phone numbers and maybe you could check in a couple hours and see if they... Um, yes, please. Or I can keep checking for you, too, but the uh, Oceanside Police Department, mm -hmm. their number is 760-435-4900, and they do book at the Vista Jail... Uh, but she doesn't seem to think that any of their officers or, you know, uh, have your grandmother, but the Vista Jail is 760-940-4997. And I'll try to keep checking for you, too. If I find out anything, I will definitely call you. Okay. But if you find out anything, if you'd call me, then I'll check it all, all out for you. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I'll give them a call and try to find out what's going on. Yeah, I, you know, and I mean, I, I just called both of them, so, you know, I'd wait a little while and try again. Okay. You know, uh, but 
But you were told it was the Oceanside Police Department? Yeah. Hmm. It's weird. And I've got Joan Anderson. That's correct. Yeah, she doesn't that use any other first name or... No. Okay. Well, I got my fingers crossed. Thank you so much, Fred. Bye. Bye. Bill Bunch. Hi there. How are you today? I'm fine. Um, am I talking to Fred, Mr. Herbert? Yes, this is Fred Herbert. Oh, hi, Fred. Um, my name is Joan, and I'm calling to see if there's something I can do about an individual that's in a Florida jail. Do you do Florida at all, or just California? How much is the bail? I really don't know. Um, is there any way you can look up in their system? I'd sit the which. Uh, which county is it in Florida? Uh, the only information I have here, Fred, I, it says status supervised Florida Department of Corrections. Is this somebody who's sentenced? Yeah, he's already sentenced. Okay. Uh, the only way I could suggest uh, finding out something that's that general, I mean, because you don't know... That means he's in prison someplace in uh, in uh, Florida, right? Yes, in Florida. <clears throat> and how long has he been in prison? Well, I have the website up here, and the address. What website do you have up? Uh, it's offender dot f d l e dot state dot f l dot u s. Okay. Do you need his name? No, I. No, I, I'm I'm wondering what you're you're doing. I I I have I can't remember the last time I checked for somebody who was in custody uh, doing you know in prison in Florida. I'm in California, you know. Yeah, I know. That's how I was able. I looked up bail bonds, and uh, your name had come up there. And yes, where I'm, are you? I'm in Macon, Georgia. You're in Macon, Georgia. And yes. You're, Okay. And and uh, so you're on this uh, this site that's showing uh, who's in custody in Florida. His name is Travis. And well, well, I, but I, I'm asking. You told me you got your online. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and what site are you on? I it like I said, it's on the website is offender dot f d l e dot state. Oh, well, you're just saying that so fast. I don't even know what you're telling me. But go ahead, it's <laughs> offender sorry. one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll I'll go a little slower this time. Thank you. Okay, offender. Uh huh. Dot f as in Frank d l e d l e. Mm hmm. Dot. What what does that stand for? I don't I don't know. I would think maybe Florida Department of something. Um Okay. It and then after that it's dot state. Mm-hmm. Dot F L dot U S. F okay. meaning Florida. I would and think. are you finding him on that site? Yes, I am. And where and what's your question? Um, I just wanted to know if there was anything I could do to get him out. I've never done this before. He's a relative. Well, no, if you're sentenced and you're in prison, you just have your time to do. Bail is a, bail is something that you can post while you're fighting your case. Uh, but if he's already sentenced, uh, the, he has no bail. Now, there could maybe be bail by appeal, but mm -hmm. that would be something that would have to be set by an attorney. So if you know who his, 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 his attorney is, you could contact him. I'd have to find out. Um, but I'm sorry for bothering you, sir. I, I, I just, I need You're not bothering me. Uh, okay, that's great. <laughs> Did I, I sound like you were bothering me? No, I just didn't. I, I kind of felt like I was pressuring you a little bit. I, didn't, I don't know a whole lot about how the whole jail process works. Um, no, you're not. No. Okay. Okay. You sound like and, a guy. And uh, I'm, I'm just surprised that somebody in Macon, Georgia, would call me in California about somebody in Florida. That's the only reason I... 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. I was just doing a website search uh, for bail bonds, and you... How's the weather in Macon, Georgia? Uh, it's not all that great. Uh, we had some snow recently. Um, in Res Yes, I know. That's... It's been pretty bad, and I can tell you that they say that we're going to be getting a warm-up here soon, and I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, good. I just had a friend of mine, she called me from Arkansas, and... Uh -huh. You know, wish me happy Valentine's Day, and she's uh, she says it's been a crazy, crazy winter there. Yeah, it's one of the worst. Oh, now that you mention it, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, okay, well, you know, that really, if you want to try to get this person out, you're probably way too late. Do you know what they got sentenced to? <sighs> I hate to say, but for he's a sexual offender, and he might be in for ten plus years. I I don't know. That's I'm I'm a relative. I'm his aunt, and I've uh -huh. and I just want to see what I can do. But I guess there really isn't anything I can do. Um, if, no, unless, you see, that's what um, sometimes it's an advantage for somebody to be out so that they can fight their case and not be in custody and not be able to defend themselves as well. That's but, right. But uh, if they've made any mistakes on the case, then there's a chance for an appeal bond so they can have a new trial, but that'd be up to his attorney. Okay. Uh, do you know how somebody would go about getting an Can you hang on just a second? Oh, yes. Sure. I feel bad for him and for um, the man I called with. I I feel like I don't know a whole lot about the situation. Well, I've got to go. I've got a, somebody in jail calling me on the other line. But try to find out who his attorney is. Okay. And contact the attorney and see if there's anything that you can do to help, and he'll know. Well, will do, Mr. Herbert. And thank you for your advice. I appreciate it a lot. Good Good luck. Well, thank you. You You have a good day now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bell mine. Hello? Yeah, I need to bell Hello? somebody out. Hi, I need to bail my cousin out. Okay. Where's your He's cousin in, in custody? Excuse me? Where's your cousin in jail? He's in a up You want to bail your cousin out, is that correct? Yeah, he's in Walnut. Okay, I need to know his name and how much his bail is. His name is Dwight Markin, uh, Martin. His bail is -T -T um, D W D W I G H T. Yeah, last name Martin. He's in uh, Arizona. -T -I -N? Yeah. What's his date of birth? A, um, ten, eleven, eighty-nine. In your name, James Martin. I didn't get your first name. James. And your number? 909-981-2331. And what number did you just call me from? And somebody oh, else's this, number? This, this is my um, sister, uh, sister's cell phone number. Okay, and what's that number? <clears throat> Excuse me? Okay, hang, hang on. He's in Walnut, right? Uh, it's nine oh. Wait, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. I'm, I'm just trying to make sense of what you're telling me. Okay, so you're what's what's your what's your friend what's your cousin in jail for? Bestiality. Hello. Bellbinds. Yeah, I think we got disconnected. This is no, I, no uh, I'm not talking to anybody about bestiality. I'll talk to you later, buddy. Bellbonds. Yeah, Fred, I think we got disconnected again. I don't know. Yeah, I have to put you on hold. I'm sorry. Bellbonds. Yeah, Fred, like, I don't know what happened again. Well, I've been putting you on hold because I have another client. But I, I have never found a Dwight Martin in Walnut. And uh, let me look again. Are you sure it just isn't a glitch? 
I can call and no, get his... I, I, no, I, I, think, I think I know what it is, but hang on a minute here. Excuse me? Excuse me. D-W-Y-G-H-T? Yeah, correct. Hello? Yeah, that's correct, sir. Fred, are you there? I am right here. Okay. Goodbye, never call me again. Excuse me. <laughs> 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 Bill Barnes. Hi, Freddie. Well, Fred Herbert, uh, it's nice to make your acquaintance. My name is Cesar Angelo. Hello? Yeah. Jeez, I, I, I'm in jail in downtown Boston. Did you hear that? <laughs> Bell bonds. Have you ever heard of soundboard pranks? Hello? Bell bonds. Hello? Hi, I need to bail my uh, cousin out. Can you hang on one minute? Yeah, no problem. Okay, and haven't we been talking about this? Uh, no, sir. This is the first time I've called you. What's your cousin's name? It's Andrew Anderson. And you're Steve Perez? Uh, excuse me? My caller ID said you were Steve Perez. No, I'm sorry. My name's not Steve. My name's John. John what? John Anderson. I haven't called you before. He was arrested today. And your phone number? Uh, my phone number is 909-226-8294. Okay, hang on just a second. All right, no problem. Hello, and who are Hello. you calling about, John? Hi, it's Andrew Anderson. It's my cousin. And is that A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N? Uh, yes, it is. And where is Andrew in custody? Um, well, I mean, he called me, said he was arrested by the Apple Valley PD. Okay. Um, I, uh, to be honest, I can't remember where he, which jail he said he was in. Uh, I can give Well, you and how, and how long has he, how long ago did he call you? Uh, he called me about, uh, 20 minutes ago. Uh, I can and, give, uh, and how old is he? He's 30 years old. I can give you his booking number. Sure. Uh, it's 140-937-2242. That's for somebody that was arrested in September. Uh, well, that's the number he gave me. Did I? Okay, see? and and he says he was just arrested. He was arrested today. Um, I think he said okay. about midday. Okay. It's. Let me. Uh, let me look him up here. Okay. Okay, I'm not finding him that way. Let me look at this old book. Where'd you get this booking number? Uh, well, he gave it to me on the phone. I may, I may well have written it down wrong. Um, you know, the phone was the phone line was right. Well, this is uh, this is uh, uh, when he was arrested on uh, September 30th and uh, released. It was he was cited and released for 
public intoxication and then had another uh, another charge. Well, he told me uh, he was arrested uh, for a driving offense. Well, what I'm saying is this booking number that you gave him gave me was for his arrest yeah. on September 30th at 1237 on Gents. Just Ranch Parkway in Bear Valley Road. Yeah. Now, okay, let, let's see if uh, if he appeared on that. Uh, they they gave him a, a cite. They gave him a couple of citations to appear. Let me see if uh, let me see if he did. Okay. Because I'm not aware of an arrest. Uh, I'm not aware that he was arrested in September. He just called me today saying he was arrested for a drive. Yeah, offense. well, that is a booking number from September. Yeah. And and he was arrested according to the, you know, unless somebody else is using his name. But um, I'm looking up that case that he was talking about. Yeah. on the court website to see if he had an appearance today or something. You say he got arrested. Yeah, well, that's what he told me. He told me he was calling from the jail, and he told yeah, me that he'd well, been arrested. I, you, you don't think he's been arrested? No, no, that he told me he'd been arrested, uh, and he told me that, you know, uh, I, if I could bail him out, because we're, we're fairly close, so, um, so yeah. Yeah, so his, uh, his appearance is uh, on the one from... From September, okay. he doesn't okay. need to go to court on that till uh, uh, December third. That was for sitting or lying in the public ways. Okay. Uh, and the other one was for public intoxication. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, was he arrested for driving under the influence today um, or something? He may. Uh, I. I mean, he just said driving offenses. Um, he wasn't very specific. The phone call wasn't very long. I'm sorry I don't have these details. Um, he, well, uh, I, I understand. I'm just not finding yeah, no, okay. him in custody. Um, well, okay, I, I, um, I don't know what to suggest. I mean, which jail was, uh, if you say he was in... Uh, I'm looking in the entire county of San Bernardino, but if you'll give me a second, I'll look. Okay, uh, no problem. I'll, uh, they sometimes take a while to... Yeah. So I'm going to look. Um, I'm going to look for him on uh, a statewide site that I have here. Let's see if because sometimes they're quicker. And uh, let's see, he's thirty. I don't show him in custody anywhere in the state of California as of yet. Okay. You know, uh, if he just got picked up at noon, it's possible that nobody's got him booked in yet, but usually the second that they put him into the system, uh, they show up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. And I don't see anything yet. And so, John, you're at 226-8294. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'll just keep looking for him and give you a call when I find him. And if you get any further information, in fact, if he calls you back, yeah, uh, ask ask him what his current b uh, booking number is. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll I'll try and give the uh, the Apple Valley PD a call and see what they have to say. Because as, as you say, if he just got picked up. You know, maybe uh, maybe there's no details on him yet, but um, yeah. And if he's picked up on a misdemeanor that's a nonviolent crime, he'll be sight released, okay. and you won't need to post bail. Oh, okay. Just like last time, he didn't have to post bail; they just let him out. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your help, sir. Thank you, John. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Okay. Thank you Bye. very much. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey, uh, good morning. My my name is Toby. Okay. I'm calling from an organization called Mind. How are you today? I'm not interested. Good. May I have...
They're all gone. Okay. We keep receiving calls from someone who's uh, irate, yelling at me, <laughs> and he keeps calling back. And I put him on hold, and and then when I came back from the number, you were on the line. So I don't know. Do you have a jail facility that somebody should could be coming calling from that number? What number are you calling from? All right. Well, you have nine one one. If you would like to verify that, then please call nine one one and ask if there's an employee by the name of Terry, because that's who I am. Bell bunch. Hi, I was wondering if you sell Big Macs. Uh, oh, y you don't sell Big Macs? Uh, I love you. Bell Bonds. Hello, this is Ruby Nose Pizza calling to confirm your order. And we didn't call any. Yes. Call. You ordered ten large pizzas, five sodas, no, and six orders phone, of breadsticks? You're being phone pranked. It's not us. Our driver's headed out to your house right now with your order, and I'm well, calling to confirm to him. To take it back, because we didn't call. Goodbye. The credit card you... Bill Bunch. Hi, I was wondering if you sold Big Macs? Uh, oh, you don't sell Big Macs? Hello, this is Ruby Nose Pizza calling to confirm your order. Yes. No. You ordered ten large pizzas, five sodas, and... Hi, you've reached John at Herbert Bell Bonds. Uh, I'm away from my phone right now, but if you leave in your, your name and number, I'll give you a call right back. Thank you for calling. See the big red letters that say Bell Bonds and John fucking me in my ass in the window? Message review. See the big red letters that say Bell Bonds and John fucking me in my ass in the window? Thank you. Your message has been sent. Goodbye. Ass, ass, ass. Bell Bonds. Hello? Bell Bunch. Get all your walnuts back when he's done going to court, or you can pay a Bell Bondsman 500 bucks, and the Bondsman will guarantee we'll put up the walnut for you. Bell Bunch. Hello, you stupid motherfucker, you. Do I know you? Hello. Hey, let me tell you how I feel. Fuck you. Hi, this is uh, Herbert Bell Bunch. Please me leave your name and number, and we'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. I don't have to hide behind a goddamn telephone to aggravate people at 7 o'clock in the morning. You tongue-tied son of a bitch. If you are satisfied with your message, Press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2 to erase and re-record. Press 3 to continue rec message review. I don't have to hide behind a goddamn telephone to aggravate people at 7 o'clock in the morning. You turn that son of a bitch. If you are satisfied with your message, press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2 to erase and re-record. Press 3 to continue recording where you left off. Press 4 to send your message with normal delivery. Press 1. To send your message with urgent delivery, press 2. Thank you. Your message has been sent. Goodbye. Bell Bunch. Talk to my fucking horse, asshole. <laughs> Bell Bunch. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, how are you? Can I please have your first name only and your birth date, please? Hello, this is the business phone. Not a prank phone call. One. Can I get your first name and your birth date, please? What's your name? I'm Cleo. No, you can't. Pardon me? My name is Fred. Osteoporosis runs in your family, correct? Yeah, we're... we're, we're the credit cost you getting... We're, we're, we're just a minute, just a minute. I've got this on speaker. Now, what is it you want, ma'am? The high priestess is telling me about a secret. Are you keeping something... Bill Bunch. So, I thought I'd like to tell you about some of the work that I did. The only way for us to compete used to be good just to be fast or do it. People used to beg me to do it. 
now, you know, we're we're just trying to plug away here. And then I need your signature there where it says defendant at the bottom. Be agreeing to go to court. Let us know if you move. Mm -hmm. Keep us up on your phone number. Eight one. Eight one. I've got my uh, my photo center here, but I. <laughs> <laughs> Plus all these. That's one of my favorites. You put the 69 side right behind you. Oh, 69. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing around this for a bit. Oh, PU 6969. I tried to play places. You know, I, I, I met this uh, artist and he did a whole bunch of, uh, like, he did a Superman out of uh, license plates. Yeah. We we actually uh, packed up his uh, designs and stuff like that. We're gonna put them up in some streets. Yeah, we packed them up and shit. I'm, I'm in a club. There's people make maps out of them. Yeah. Look at that. How'd you like to have that on your motorcycle? Well, look at this. Well, this that's a police plate there. That's an Arizona '82 motorcycle plate. Zero zero sixty nine. Cotton farm. What is that? A cotton farm? Yeah. It's a it's an exempt plate for a cotton farm mm -hmm. in there. And then these are for my club, but that's a, that's an old local dealer. Uh, they'd stick on your road sixty nine. I've actually mm -hmm. the bottom. Mm -hmm. pulled that one out. That would have been a an opal dealer in seventy eight. Opal dealer. You remember that was a car. Wow, what's the that kind of that? Opal. Opal. His name is GM and Opal. He's Opal. You know what I'm with that, huh? Yeah. It's a temporary... You know what you need to do with one day seriously, because I'm all over. I'm all over. And, and snap a couple pictures of all these and send them to me. Whatever ones you don't have with them, I'm about. Help you out. <laughs> I come across a lot of shit, I'm telling you. I've got about... Uh, Twenty-five or thirty thousand license plates. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've got uh, I, I've got a complete California run from 1910 up. Wow. Of bears, sold uh, porcelain, and some you made with the hardware store. Yeah, I've been collecting them for years, forty really? years. Where do you put them on the wall? Yeah, I'm single, so I can get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> All over. Huh? All over. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 I've even got plates that I got, uh, uh, they had, when people would go out and homestead, like in Barstow. Yeah. So they have to build a little house yeah. to get the property. You still see them out there, mm -hmm. little shacks. And then they had to make a roof. Well, uh, 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 a company that used to melt the plates down, in fact, they were in Ontario, had been going out that way on that railroad route, or getting, or, or getting plates coming this way, I don't know, and the train derailed. And so here's a big pile of license plates from DMV, and they're all from the 30s, laying out in the desert. So those people would take them, and they'd make their roof out of them, like tiles, so, and then spray them silver, so I've got all these plates with extra nail holes in them and with little parts of them on the back sprayed with the <laughs> silver paint. Wow. And, you know, and I know a lot of people that have them, too. That yeah. just, I probably got 150, 200 of them. Wow. And it's because of the story. Yeah. Yes. You know, that. Yeah. I was watching a, uh, a pond earlier. Pond stars? Yeah, and uh, what was it, Jesse James' uh, well, killer? Yeah. Well, what was it? It was the gun. The gun. And, and on the on on the handle, every kill, and you know you killed, you killed them. Cut a little slice in it. You confirm kills. Them. And then, and some of these guns are fucking wrapped with 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 the carving in it. And I was like, and the dude had the bio uh, biograph. And, and, I mean, he had everything, the whole printout on from A to Z. I was like, wow, it was worth. Uh, Want to say? I don't know, maybe twenty five thousand or two hundred fifty thousand. I don't remember what it was. High two hundred thirty five thousand. Wow. And I think he picked it up for like fifteen G's. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's, that's history right there. I got my Chumley shirts, you know, I've, I've been, you know, I've been to their fine shop. It's hard to get in there. Is it? Yeah, well, they get always have a big line. You know, they're not really operating a fine shop there. I mean, they're, they're, they're selling shirts and, I mean, they're actually operating a fine shop. What do you mean, a pump star? Is that the one you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, the one with the dude, the guy. Yeah, the, the guy, guy, the guy, the long haired yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. Jim Lee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He was flying the plane, the, the helicopter today, and he had the keys to, to, to one of the things. And he said, he said, Kelly, I'm telling you, put the helicopter down. I have a customer, and if I lose this deal, because you're screwing around, it's your ass. Finally, he had to just grab the helicopter out of the air and pull it down and pull the keys off of it. Oh, he's <laughs> in the storeroom with the yeah, remote. Yeah, yeah. I thought Yeah, 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 yeah no, 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 no. And he's, he's like, he's like, just trying to have a little fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, 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 I mean, he's a little slow, but you know, he's he's got all right. He's good. You know, uh, Corey, the son, Big Oz. Yeah. He he got arrested for uh, in a fight at Chad's. You ever? Did Big Barry ever go to Chad's? No. Can I do one of these clips for me? Yeah. It's a bar in uh, in in uh, Big Bear. No. Nah. Chad's. Mm -mm. Nah. How about a t-shirt? I don't know what sizes I still have. I'll take an extra large. Extra large? Well, you know, I think that's where it's going to be from. I mean, I think those are all around. Anyway, yeah. 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 That's fine. Yeah, and he has. I think your camera just went off. The what? Your camera just went off. Right on. Oh, Thank good. You. Hey, I appreciate this. Yeah. Thank you. Right right your, uh, well, we gave uh, your friend one. I'm so going to take a couple yeah. more because I come across a lot They're of like your $1,150 t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'll send you. Yeah. I went into it and all I got was an healthy t-shirt. <laughs> 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 that's all I got or it's all so I could have, yeah. No, oh, I didn't give me your... Oh, I'm sure. So, yeah, I'll be contact you uh, when I go to court. If you want to. Okay. Yeah, I can look it up. I got a couple, I got a couple too, right here. Okay. I'll put, I'll, I'll put them out for you. There's a copy of your bond. Okay. Now, if I refer to That's got your appearance date on it. Nobody can make money on a bail bond except a bail bond. You mean a licensed bail bond. Okay, if you refer me somebody. Yeah. If I ever need you again, you can think of me. I'll figure something out. Yeah. I'll give you a good deal. I'll give you a good, good deal. deal now. Know you. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate that. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'll definitely refer you guys. I've made Freddie a lot of money. <laughs> Say reaper? Huh? Oh, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you. Back in the day, I shot 20 years, 22 years clean and sober. But back in the day, yeah. back during the 80s, my dad used to show me to have some uh, red hair and pie stick and shit. And he, I remember when they used to do the bread and yellow and all that. Oh yeah, the, the jacket. Ugh. Yeah. Well, when I was when I was a cop, that's when the when that stuff was really big. Now, did you do it when you were a cop? Uh, I started smoking weed in 1970 at the very tail end of being a cop, out, out of the evidence locker. Yeah. Uh, there were 19 of us that smoked weed. One whole the graveyard shift. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you, you, 9-11-B is where a police car pulls up like this. The other one pulls up like and this. And it's a hockey clothing. Yeah, that's 9-11-B. Meet the officer. Well, you'd go and you'd find the cars stacked like this, <laughs> the roach going, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, and guys, guys burning incense in their ashtray, and it's Pomona. I go to a NA meeting at night in white at a church, mm -hmm. and that used to be the parking lot that we'd all meet at. <laughs> so I thought, you know, every once in a while, as I see a newer group in there, I'll, I'll get up and tell that story. You know, you know. How long have you been sober? 22 years. And why? Huh? Why? 
uh, because it was ruining my life. Just ruining it? Yes. Yeah. And and I and I didn't do anything a little bit. It was always to the extreme? Yeah. 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 You probably know my uh, grandma, Beverly Clower. Beverly Clower. Clower. She's in from Ontario. It sounds a little familiar. Tracy Clower, Don Clower. Yes. C L O W A R D. Yep. Yep. Orchard Lane, right here in Ontario. Hmm. Yep. Orchard Lane or Orchard Lane? Orchard Lane. Orchard Lane. Yep. I think it's 1501, 1401. Yep. Could be. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll keep you informed on what's going on, and um, I'm going to call you in a couple of days and make sure everything's good in the computer. Uh, oh, I can look right now, too. Can you? Yeah, I'll just look and make sure everything got, uh, well, it should be there. That's my great uncle and the world's largest fish I ever caught on one for five years ago. Yeah, right. 425-pound black sea bass. He, he caught that? Yeah, I'm right. Right real. Gino 3. Wow. And he caught the world's record swordfish, too, a couple of years later. Ed Llewellyn, he was quite a guy. I never, he, he got killed before I was. You think he was really, you think he really did that? What? On the, oh, oh. No, uh, Robert Blake? No, uh, not guilty, Jackson. Oh, Jackson? He did oh. that. You think he really did those it. kids? Yes. Yeah. How about Robert Blake? Did he do it? Yes. yes. No. Do you, do you do you remember he had the cockatoo on his shoulder? Did he? Yeah, and, and, and he used to talk to him as as a uh, uh, hell was he? Uh, Did I have the cockatoo up there? <laughs> no, it's not there. But the, <laughs> Which, what's that lady right there on the bottom down there? Oh, there. that's Farrah Fawcett. Oh, right here? Yeah, Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett. She died the same day that Michael like Jackson died. Oh. She gets that little article. And you know you know how he died, right? Look on that. Oh, the stone. Did you see the pictures of his legs on the trail marks that he had? No, I didn't see them. Oh, fucking like a junkie. Yeah. Like a junkie holes and shit. In yeah, I, I, how's that trial going? I haven't been watching. Uh, oh, I think the mom testified already. On oh, what? Uh, I like, supposedly what, what she lost and this and that. Oh, uh, you know, I feel sorry for that doctor. You know, that man, that company that... You know, this is the man that... Fired the Jacksons. That, that's what that, I think the doctor, you know, I mean, he did what he was supposed to do. Stephen Nusser, mm -hmm. age 6, 13... Department F1, transportation of a controlled substance and possession of a controlled substance for sale. What do those carry? Uh, I don't know, not much anymore because uh, you don't even go to prison anymore. You go on county parole. They don't have room for anybody. It's a great time to. I'm going to tell them to put me on an ankle monitor. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Gary Redinger's your lawyer? Yeah. And did you get Joe Chabon? Did Gary give him all my paperwork and shit? He gave, huh? me, he gave me your folder and then that one envelope with a piece of paper. Yeah. Well, I'll print this out for you. Okay. If I can. <laughs> so I'm, you know, they suddenly put a deal here. Oh, wow. And, uh, when I'm gonna go get a, a copy of my record one time, they give me a six sheet. <laughs> I was like, whoa. You want me to stay for it? Yeah, please, please, please. Let me call Bill and let me see if you guys want to hear him real quick. I don't know if anybody's still uh, here. Hello? <laughs> yes. Bill Bynes. Hello. Hello? Huh? Hello? What? Bell Bonds. Hello? How can I help you? Well, what the problem is is that you seem to be making, or somebody from your house or from your phone is making phone calls. They're prank phone calls. Get over it. You need to call them. Bell Bonds. Hello? Give it up. Bell Bonds. I'm here to sleep at 5 in the morning. I'm walking in.
Yeah, that's good. You do that. That what? Bail bonds. Bail bonds. Bail bonds. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm Bell bounds. What restaurant is this? Grow up. No. Bounds. Hello. Bell bounds. How can I help you? Sounds like you've been drinking. Sounds like you're an asshole. Yeah. Bell bounds. <laughs> Bell bounds. Hello. Hello. What are you, are you, uh, are you having fun? Uh, bunch. Thinking about getting a penis enlargement? I'm sorry, you're thinking about what? Thinking about getting a penis enlargement? Oh. Good luck. Albanch. Uh, Mike? No, this is Fred. Hello? Hello, how can I help you? Fuck you, fuck your mama, fuck your dad, fuck everyone. I don't know what you're talking about. You 12 year old. (laughs) Bill Bunch. Fuck you! You asshole, motherfucker! Did you get that? No, a cocksucker! I don't think I called you. Bell bunch. I don't think I called you. Bell bunch. Let me call you back. You're an angry, unemployed individual. But anyway, uh, you get there okay? You're full of crap. Dodgers won. Huh? Yeah, they won uh, six to four. Really? And and the other thing I was going to call you about is that they're on XM Radio. Really? That's amazing. Uh, It's the life of Jerry Garcia from August 1st to August 9th. So it started today. On Channel 23. Okay. Hold that, General. Oh, is that right? Just speaking, I want you to do with the anniversary of his birth and death. It's one of the two. Okay. Oh. You just missed Jerbo. You came about 10 minutes after you left. I guess you wanted to give me some money. Uh, but he's going to come in Tuesday and give you more. Fine. I should all come in Tuesday and give him more. Okay. Yeah, I think they're up above the seat. All right, I just thought this head thing. Dodgers just ended and and uh, Jerry had come in, and I think we're uh, three and a half games up. Yes. Well, all right, we'll have a good time. I haven't written anything. I'm just uh, listening to this uh, prank story. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Alright. Alright. Alright, I figured you were there. I guess you were not going to this right. Well, good, that gave you a break. They, they're probably taking most of the shit in while you're on the phone. That's good. I don't want to tell them, but, you know. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> it calls me all the time. I'm on YouTube like this. Uh, Yeah, I think I'm using it or something like that in the background just to put it up on the listening to it. Yes. It's full of new balloons now. It's been working all day. Maybe it's out. No, well, maybe I don't have enough new balloons. That could be that. How many? What? It's trying. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, well, no, it's written it. Yes. Hello? You know, it takes so many. You know, it takes this one. Hello? Okay. Oh, we get a couple of pins? Yes. Hello? Well, hi. Yeah, you got yourself out with those and stuff. Well, hi. <laughs> Yes. It was that easy. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Yes, it oh, would. Oh, what if there was one in there? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yeah, you got to be a, a, a programmer to figure out some of this stuff. Wow. So you want the owners or just the workers? I'm on YouTube. I'm the founder. Okay. <laughs> that sounds uh, good. We started this in 1970. Why'd you start it? Because they were, uh, they stuck me in the jail at Pomona Police Department. Is that right? I was born in Pomona. Were you? So yeah. both uh, my son Mike and I and were born in Pomona Valley. Yep, Pomona Valley. My sister uh, was born in 1968 and 1976. Yeah, my son. 61. And then my sister was born five years before me at San Antonio Hospital. They dropped her. <laughs> you dropped her? They fucking dropped her. It's crazy. That's crazy. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it should be me. It should have been me. Hey, well, here's this ice chest right here. I know this too. It's, uh, it's an old... Um, yeah. Yes. The box? Um... Montgomery Ward. I got a Montgomery Ward two-seater bike. Really? Yeah. It's a Montgomery that, Ward. That's uh, like the end of the ice box. Then they put a little condenser on top right after that. It so, looks perfect inside. So can I open it? Yeah. So it kind of hold on to the uh, body of the thing and jerk the uh, handle because it's like somebody can hold up above where your left hand is. Right here? Nothing. Yeah. So you can pull on. Yeah, you're holding the door. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Oh, it didn't... So you put ice up here. Oh. So like I got an old... And you just put ice in there and then it'll cool the bottom. Yeah, so I've been collecting that. The ice picked in that oh, ice tongs. Yeah, How long does it take to get the beer cold if you have dry ice? Well, I don't know. Well, you wouldn't normally put dry ice. You put regular ice. ice. Okay. And you put a block of uh, regular ice in there. And, and, uh, this is this is a couple of bucks with all the little milk caps and the old milk. Oh, oh. Uh, actually, I've been thinking about going to get it redone. Oh, really? Yeah, this was a. No. I can. Yeah. I can do it if you are probably getting rid of it. Why? What do you do? 
I, I didn't have my buddy restored. Yeah, he's pretty good. See, the, this, it's like, it's like somebody hung in. Yeah, well, it's uh, old. It's standing a little bit. You can move into the end of the depth, probably. And this is got to remember, this is all wood right here. It's all wood, you know? This is wood. This, this stuff right back here. Wood. Wow. Yeah. That I've had some wooden ones, but I didn't know. This is wood, so you might need to go back to get his wood a little bit. It's old. Yeah. It's, it's an old. Olympic. Ward from uh, LA, so that became my memory ward. Something sat on it for years. Well, you got my number, you ever want to get rid of it? I'm the man. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I have this thing restored back to like its original, if better. Yeah, well, okay. well, he, well, he powder coated it? Yeah, he's going to powder coat it. He's yeah. going to be powder coated. I got a buddy that's told me he could powder coat it. Yeah, you'll see, it's like going to be like glass. Yeah, that'll definitely it's gonna be Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. He does yeah. beautiful work. Yeah, yeah. see a local guy? Yeah, he's a local dude. I met him about uh, four or five years ago, B-Boy. Mm. And uh, he's amazing with uh, re restoration. I brought him a couple wagons, one wood one and one all metal one. God, I thought I had this thing figured out. What is going on? I'm going to go back. I believe in you. You just said in a couple of There you go. Yeah, but see, I was trying to make your license 200%. That's where you were. And I did that before. You know, so I can see you better. Right. You know, I, mean, I ain't running. Well, it's just, I know. It's actually for me, you know, you call and I pull your file and then I. Are you there? <laughs> yes. Lunch. Go sit under a TV. There's my bell bonds. Go sit under a TV. What the hell? I see. Go sit under. Hello. Show you the numbers that are coming in. Oh no, they come. A day, uh, they use oh, oh, Skype and. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Wow. Guys right. working on it, but they can't trace. Wow. The numbers, so... Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what'll happen. It's been going on for a long time. Okay. So we have a life. I had a poster when I was young. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
that you guys do together to make your relationship better. Mm -hmm. You can document it, get a folder and start putting that stuff in there, you know. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't uh, go out and do it just in expectation that it's going to be that really a big of a deal, but it probably would help your situation. And yeah. Because some people that do absolutely nothing get the good deal too. So yeah, I mean you can go, but I mean that's all to your advantage. Yeah, for both of you to your kids. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's so bad. yeah, you know. And then if you uh, if it doesn't work out, I'll get you guys some real weapons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look at what's going on in the Chino Police Department. Did you hear about oh, that? Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, my what? God. Did it miss it? They, they're up. having a uh, uh, safety deal at the school, and so this one Chino cop brings his motorcycle with a mount for an AK-47 oh. and has it mounted on his motorcycle. He went to school like that? Went to school, but you know, you know, maybe as a to show the kids something, you know. Well, one of the kids goes over. They're passing out stickers or something. One of the kids goes over and pulls the trigger, and the thing goes off. Hurts a few of the kids. Are you kidding me? And she so that really looks stupid. It looks that's right. really that's really stupid. I heard people talk about that in the lobby yesterday. About well, they they, they they want it. they want to get rid of weapons and the that's too, why would it you know, it, it, the weapon didn't do that. The Chino cop that didn't. I think you. Yeah. Their safety, like. Didn't have done it to his motorcycle and gone to like his place. It's like. Yeah. Oh God. Pretty crazy. Yeah, it makes your situation look like nothing. Well, it injured a couple of kids. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess one of the kids had grapnel uh, in his eye. Hello? Huh? Yeah, I had a voice for a time. BB-69-69. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was actually thinking. You don't even go to prison anymore. You go on counting parole. There are multiple benefits. Three, two, two. Myself be making a fortune on this. We'll create jobs. Right. Through the thousands, eventually hundreds. Bunch. Oh, I'm checking off to you, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, my lunch. load, baby. Oh, you're not done, huh? Right. It's become sick motherfucker on the phone. Konnichiwa, grasshoppers. John and Joanne aren't home right now, so leave the number and we'll call you back. Arigato, grasshopper. Bell bunch. <laughs> Bell bunch. Hi, I'm trying to get my brother out of jail. Okay. Herbert? Yes. So, what do I need to do to make that happen? Well, first you need to give me his name. Uh, what's my brother's name? No. Herbert? All right. Bye. Bail bonds. Hi, I'm just trying to get my brother out of jail. Herbert? Yeah, what jail, what jail is he in? Get my brother out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> what jail is he in? So what do I need to do to make that happen?
Well, I need to know what jail he's in so I can look up his bail. Um, well, can I get him out of jail tonight? It depends on what jail he's in. What jail is he in? You sound like you've been drinking, so I'm a little confused. What jail is he in? I'd love to bail him out, but you sound like you've been drinking, so I'm a little concerned. I was trying to get my brother out of jail. Um, what are you going to do about bailing him out? Where is he? Um, well, can I get him out of jail tonight? Bellbunch. You want my credit card number? Sure, what is it? 555-714-1212. How much? Okay. Bellbunch. Is this my brother, Jim? Bellbunch. Is this Freddie Herbert? Who's this? Yeah, I'm your twin brother. Bellbunch. I'm sorry, but this is a prank phone call originated by Daryl McCall of Irwin, North Carolina. He's a worthless piece of shit of a nigger. He ain't no different than you, asshole. Bellbunch. I'll put a fucking bullet through your fucking brain. Mmm. Shut up and listen. Mmm. And then you bend I'm those, you put your cheeks, or I'll shove a telephone pole up your fucking ass. Mm. You really think you're so... Mm. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. What part of being an asshole don't you understand? Mm -hmm. Kiss my ass, deputy do right. Mm -hmm. Worthless piece of shit. Mm. You're crushing. <clears throat> Go fuck yourself with a broom handle. <laughs> Bitch. Hello? Oh, I'm going to the hamburger. Hello? Bell bunch. You fucking asshole. Oh, there's your phone. I can hear your Bell phone ringing. Bellbinds. Hang on, LeVar. Bellbinds. Hello there. Hello there. Who are you? Why are you calling? You're who? What's going on? Amateur. Bellbinds. You got a nice cock. Bring it over here. Let me look at it. You want to fuck me? Boy, sick. Let me know here. Let me look here. Bell Vines. Yes, good day. Heard me? Hello? Hello? Yes, am I calling bail bonds? Yes. Yes, I need to bail somebody out. Okay, who's in custody? My sister. Your sister? Okay, and her name is... Margaret. Margaret? Yeah. And her last name? Stevens. Did, uh, and your, your name, sir? My name is Gregory. And your last name? Stevens. Go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to figure out. He said Buena Park picked him up, but he thought he was in Fullerton. Did he sound intoxicated to you? Yeah, I, but... Uh, I was having a little bit of a tough time. Uh, plus, I had a screaming kid in there. So uh, let me call down there and see what I can find out, because he didn't really know what he was in there for, unless you know. Well, he told me he was going to go for a school thing and uh, I guess he went got drunk with his friends so I need to know if I can perhaps you know pay the bill or, or do something I don't know this never happened yeah well I'm I'm going to find out I haven't had an opportunity to try to find out and he, he'd only been in jail like a short time so 
takes them a while to get all the information available for us, but I will do that right away now because I'm free, and I'll find out what's going on. And, and it's Jonathan, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N? Yeah, Smith, Jonathan Smith. Smith. Yeah. And, he, and I had a hard time with his date of birth. Is it 12-10-85? Excuse me, 12-10-85? Yeah. yeah, December. Yeah. I'll call you back. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. No hyphenated other last name, mom's name. That's the way I, no, I just that? run into this constantly. Okay, hang on. Okay. No, I, I'm not finding a Roberto Camacho. Could he be somewhere else? Uh, it could be in ICE. Is he here illegally? Yes, sir. And they say he's there. Yes, and the booking number. How did you How did you call them? Sent to the Orange. I, and how did you find that out and call the Orange County Jail? Because I called them and I gave them the booking number, sir. Okay. All right. Seemed pretty quick. That's the reason I was. All right. Let me look on their website. Okay, the way that you can search is by name, uh, and you say that uh, it's Camacho. Yes, Roberto Camacho. Because I just... Uh, Nope. Do you tell me where he is and what the, what his name is? The booking number, sir? No, the phone number that you called, sir. Sir, are you guys sitting down, sir? I don't know what I'm reaching here, sir. What it, What's the booking number you gave me? Am I calling the bail bond, sir? Yes, sir. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm calling. That's not the number I call the Orange County Jail at. And they say it's an eight-digit no, eight booking number. Do you know what that eight-digit number is? Yes, sir. The number is... Well, sir, yes. I, I don't know what this is, but hang on again. I'm going to... I'm going to put my speakerphone on. Hang on. Okay. Belmont. Hello, sir. Yes. Yes, did you find him, my friend? Yeah, he was. it looks like he was released a couple of days ago. That's why I can't find him. But I'm, oh. uh, I'm looking a little further here. And and uh, he's in for all kinds of drug charges. Let's see here. I'm looking up his case now. I tried to call you back, but your phone was busy. Yeah, I was calling back to the mail office. Hang on. You told me they said he was there, and yet he's not there. But who paid sir? the bill, sir? Yeah, who paid the who paid the bill? I don't sir? know. I, I I like I said I'm try I'm looking it up right now, sir. Roberto Malgoza Camacho. You told me he had no middle name. But that is 
His family name, sir, no, no middle name. Oh, well, name. sir, I, that's what I, the first thing I asked you is if there was another last name. It's always that way. That's the way Hispanic people do their names. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. Well, I I know, but I, I, that's why I told you that right in the very beginning because I... It's very difficult to to, uh, to uh, look this up when I don't have all the information, and you told me that that wasn't the case. So, okay. I it, he, it's all right. On uh, okay. On, Eleven seventeen. This case has been going on since July. Um, and it looks like it part of it was dismissed on the seventeenth. But it looks like he's pled guilty. I'm trying to see why he would have bailed out, but uh, uh, then he it says he has an arraignment on November 22nd in the uh, court in Fullerton. And <clears throat> he goes by um, a variety of names but they're all about the same. Robert, Roberto, Camacho, Melgoza, uh, spelled a variety of different ways. Okay, let's see. Um, well, maybe according to this, he didn't bail out. Let me go get my other uh, paperwork. Hang on. Okay. This says that a uh, bond was posted two days ago, and he was released yesterday. But I don't know how much his bail was because they've got it zeroed out now. But you said it was drugs. My my brother never sell drugs. I'm sorry, sir. I can't tell you anymore. Somebody else bailed him out yesterday, and. Uh, uh, he goes back to court on the 22nd. I don't know who bailed him out, and I don't know for how much. So but, you'd have to find out from your brother who bailed him out. But I've called him. He doesn't answer the phone, sir. Well, I, I, I don't know, sir. It's been a mystery to me. Could you tell I, me what drug charges my you just you told me you called the jail. I called the jail, but they told me he was in bail. I never thought he was doing drugs. I thought he was arrested because he was owing money to somebody. I, I don't know, sir. He had uh, possession for sale, transportation for sale uh, of a narcotic, transportation ex-felon with a firearm, carrying a concealed firearm, CCW, which is carrying a concealed loaded weapon, uh, possession with a firearm, and possession of marijuana for sale. <clears throat> I have to go, sir. Okay, I appreciate the help. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Thank you. Do you want the booking number? Well, why don't you just tell me what you Okay, what's the booking number? Okay, we can't look it up by a, a booking number. What do you mean? You you can't you can't uh, go online and look up a a person by booking number in Orange County. What's the person's name? The person's name is Anthony Mark. Anthony 
Mark. M A R K? Yeah. Salas. And, and there's another name after that? S A L A S. H A L A S? No, 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 no. S. S A L A S? Yes. Salas. Correct. Am I right? Correct. Okay. And your name, sir? For what? For what? No, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Frank. Frank? Yes. And your phone number, Frank? Hold on a second. Okay, that's not the phone number that came up on my caller ID. I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's not. I'm not in my house right now. Where's the 845 area code? Well, it's a cell phone, my friend. Where is the 845 area code? I have no idea, my friend. But you can call it. I can answer to you. I'm sorry, what? What? Okay. What is that? Tell me, what, tell me what's going on with Anthony. How much is the bail? I don't know. My friends told me it was pretty damn high, but I want you to check it out. So, because... Okay, and I can call you back at 845-288. Yeah. So, I mean, I got the book and... Well, well just a minute here. I mean, it takes... Okay. You just hang on, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going on my computer, and I'm going to go to the Orange County side here, so be patient with okay, me. Okay, thank you. Uh, spells uh, a million, over a million dollars. I'm... Um one million fifteen fifteen thousand. How much? One million and fifteen thousand. Are you dollars. kidding me? I'm sorry. What? Did you just say a million dollars? Yes. Oh my God. Well, I I, I understand. That's a big bail. What? Oh my God. Please tell me he didn't kill somebody. Pardon me? Nothing. Please tell you oh, what? Nothing, nothing. Talk to his attorney. See if he can get a bail reduction. I, I have... No, I don't set the bail. I'm... You said one million how much? One... Zero one five... Zero 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 point zero zero one million and fifteen thousand dollars. Oh my god. No, that's that's impossible. That's just Well, you obviously need to get them to lower the bail if you can. So I need to, to call his lawyer for that. Well yes. All right. Yes, he has an appearance on February 18th, and maybe you can assist the lawyer in making a motion to lower his bail. All right. Well, well I, I appreciate it. Thank right, you. Good, good night. Luck. Okay. Bill Bunch. Fred Herbert, how you doing? Hello. Fred. Hello, how you doing, Fred? Hello? Hello? Yeah, Fred, I didn't get my T-shirt. Well, come on in any time. Thank uh, you, sir. Where are you at? Bell Bunch. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I got the booking number. Okay. The booking number is 16... 
All right. Good luck with that one. What? <laughs> the number wrong? Oh, absolutely. What's your name? I have different phone numbers for you each time you call. Really? Oh, that's because I'm using Would the you, internet. Do you have a phone number I can call you back at? No, I, I'm using the internet right now. Pardon me? Yeah, I'm using the internet. Probably changes the area code or something. Uh, all right. Sorry. Bye. Bell Bunch. Yes, uh, it's David. Uh, you find the information? Well, I, I so far I found out that her bail's a million dollars. It's for uh, possession of a controlled substance paraphernalia, vehicle theft, receiving stolen property, possession of drugs in prison, uh, possession of a narcotic controlled substance, and possession of a controlled substance. And uh, that she uh, was arrested on the uh, 6th by uh, Garden Grove PD and goes to court on the 12th in Westminster. And I was uh, looking up her case to see why it's so, so much, but it's a million dollars. But, you know, she told me she only stole something. I'm sorry. Her name's Christina Quintana, and they gave me the same uh, booking number, and that's what she's in jail for. Having that same date of birth, excuse me. And uh, maybe you could make arrangements to go down and visit her and find out why she's told you differently. Is there any other way I could pay that? Is there any what, sir? So, uh, if I don't pay, what happens? If what, sir? If if I don't pay her bail, what what happens to her? She'll stay in custody until her case is over with. So she's going to jail. Her bill's a million dollars, sir. Do you want to pay that? That would cost you about eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay that. Okay. Well, well, all right. Well, sorry. Thank you. She's not booked that way. Um. So it's absolutely a V A L O S. Yes, exactly. Carmen. Yes. V A R M E N. Unfortunately, Orange County doesn't uh, list anybody by the booking number, but I have found a Carmen E. Avalos, 18 years old. Yeah, she's very young. Uh, with that, with that booking number, and let me just add my little bit of information here. Eleven one ninety-eight. Are you her father? No, no, no. I'm the boyfriend. And she's eighteen years old, and she's in jail. Yeah, that's why I was. You know, I thought I would teach her a lesson, leave her in jail for a couple of days, but it's been almost a month. I need to bail her out now. She's What's she scared. in jail for? I don't know. She told me she was doing nothing. I think she told me she got arrested because they were racist, the cops, because she's Mexican. She got arrested for being Mexican? Yeah. I mean, it's so unfair to be in America being Mexican. She got arrested just because she's brown. Well, I, I was born in Covina, and so I... I can't relate, but hang on here. I'm going, to, I'm going to the Orange County website here. Did she go to court today? 
I think a couple of weeks ago. I was supposed to go, but I, I couldn't find a lawyer. So. I thought you said she, okay, so she's been in jail for a couple of weeks? Yeah, a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. But what does she do? I mean, what's the problem? What I don't do know. I'm, I'm still, uh, sir, sir, I'm, I'm still looking here. I've, I've had to figure out what name she was booked under, so I'm not finding anything that way. Well, let me count the zeros here. Let's see. Her bail is $50,000. She's charged with vehicle theft, evading the police, receiving stolen property, and hit and run. And her next appearance date is September 7th. Oh, my God. Are you sure she did that and not just because they're racist? I, I'm, I, all I can do is, is uh, read what they have here, which is what it says here. Hang on. I, I'm trying to print this and... Oh my it's God! Not working for could, me. could I call right. you back? Oh. How long has he been in custody? Oh, not long. Like maybe two days. Nothing. Not more than that. Alfonso. Okay, it looks like his bail is one million dollars. Excuse me, sir? His bail is $1 million. And I'm supposed to pay that? Well, that's what I'm supposed to pay. And you're supposed to pay me like eighty to $100,000 to uh, to do that. Is that something you want to do? You want to spend that kind of money? But why, I mean, are they... I have no idea why it's so high, but I'm... I'm I mean, I'm, he, he doesn't even I, work. Hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email them and get a little more explanation here, but you've got to give me a second here. You know why he got arrested? No, he's a good person. He's my brother. I know he's your brother, but do you have any idea why he got arrested? I mean, I don't know. I... Did he get arrested for murder or something? I mean, no, I no, no, no. Okay, well, that's what I'm asking. I'm, I'm going to email them and find out in just a minute. But uh, I have to. Uh, I got a screwy little. Uh, 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 password that I have to give them, so I'm. I'm going to it right now. So I was asking you if you knew why he got arrested, because that's a pretty damn high bell. Yeah, right? why Why so high? Why do you I don't to... know why. I'm not in charge of that jail, but I'm... I'm, I'm I'm going to look right now and find out what he got arrested for. Because That's why I was asking you, sir. Because we are Mexican. Are they racist? <laughs> sir, this, you're not you're not bailing him out at Trump Towers. So you think it's because you're Mexican? I think so. I mean, a million dollars. Well, I'm going to find out why he has. Uh, such a high bail, but it has nothing to do with race. Let's see. Okay. Got to go to my email now. And I, okay, his name is Alfonso Magana. His next appearance date is January 23rd, 2017. He's 5 foot 10, 170 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. Yes. Why is it so high? I'm I, I'm going to tell you right now. I they I sent them an email 
and they sent back his charges, which are a case from 2014 for aggravated sexual assault with a child under the age of 14. So that's why his bail so high. Are you saying he had sex with a minor? They're saying he had sex with a minor. Oh, my God. Why could he do that? I don't know why he'd do that, sir. What's your telephone number again? 909-655-7389. Okay, I wanted to make sure you could say that again because you're starting to make me wonder here. But... uh. Wonder about what, sir? I'm I wonder sure about what, why 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 you're calling me, you know, and who you are, because you know uh, I, it, you're 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 acting like I arrested him. I'm just trying to help you here. Oh no, sir! And I, this I, says, I apologize. I'm and this okay. says he was arrested on November eighteenth, two thousand and fourteen. Do you think that's a, a typographical error and he was arrested in November of this year? Yeah, I think so. I mean I, I thought you said he was arrested this morning. That is so wrong to have sex with with little Does he have an attorney, sir? He doesn't have he, he's not even employed, sir. He doesn't have money. That's why he called me. Okay. I don't think he can pay a lawyer. Okay. But well this bond a, this bond would cost uh, if you paid it all right now, probably seventy thousand dollars. So but I don't know if you have seventy thousand dollars to bail him out. Well, number one, I don't have that money, and number okay. two, I would not bail him out if he did commit that crime. That That's is what they tell me that he did. Unforgivable. I cannot. If he did that, and he's no longer my brother. Well. I, you're you're innocent till you're proven guilty, but that's what he is charged with. But they say a, a girl, right? He he has. It doesn't to... say whether it's a boy or a girl. Oh no. Well, then I'm I'm gonna need to call him and face him myself in the telephone so he tell me if he did commit the crime. I'm not gonna bail him out. He can. Go how did you uh, How did you happen to call me up? Uh, Omar. Oh, I search in the internet. Okay. And, yeah, I don't even know and how I'm, this business I'm, works. I'm, I am Fred Herbert. The Bell Bonds, right? The Bell yes, Bell Bonds. Herbert Bell Bonds. I'm Fred Herbert. Yeah, and I and let me give you a direct number for us. I never wanted to say that you put him in jail. That was not my place, sir. I apologize. 909. Yes, we're right across the street from the Pomona Police Department, and uh, I have printed this all up, and uh, uh, we're a 24-hour office, so if you're uh, if you want to come in, we'll pull this all up for you. But he said uh, this shows him at the. Uh, yes. So we're talking about the right guy, but you're yeah. innocent until you're proven guilty, and I don't know. Uh, what uh, you know, uh, he he could be uh, falsely accused, but uh, maybe those because are, those they saw, are the charges. Maybe because they they saw him Mexican, they blame him for rape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, if if he did commit the crime, then I'll call you to thank you, and I will not pay the bill, sir. Well, thank you, Omar, and uh, good luck. Thank you, sir. Have a uh, good night. Bye. And your name is? Salazar, Raul Salazar. I'm the boyfriend. So your first name is Raul? Raul Salazar, senor. I'm not in jail, sir. I know, sir, but I'm talking to you. I'd like to know your name. You want to be Omega now, right? Yes, yeah, she's my girlfriend, sir. Yes, I thought you said you're the boyfriend. Yes, but she's my girlfriend. I'm the boyfriend, sir. Oh, I thought you said she's your daughter. And you, the, it's Raul and your last name, sir? Salazar. Is, well, I, I'm sorry, sir, that a bit, uh, I'm writing S-A-L-A-Z-A-R. Is that correct? Yes. 
Okay, don't be so surprised you're talking to an older gentleman here who doesn't hear it that well, and you're speaking in a little tougher. So she, how long has she been in custody? She's been arrested since yesterday, my friend. Did you say my friend? No. Okay. All right, so her last name is Moreno. I'm looking her up on their computer. <clears throat> okay, she has a, a $25,000 bond, but she went to court today. Do you know what uh, happened in court today? No, but why was she arrested? She called me, but she didn't tell me. She well, just trying. a minute. I have to... Uh, Get a uh, an email from them just a second to get the charges. So hang on just a second here. She was arrested for bringing a uh, controlled substance into the jail. Uh, uh, misappropriation of uh, lost property and possession of a controlled substance. But what substance? Have... What is controlled substance, sir? It's a what, usually a white powder, sir. Usually a, a, a drug that's a, a white powder. I don't know. I don't know whether it's cocaine, methamphetamine. Uh, Heroin, I don't know what it is, but it's a controlled substance. But sir, so I don't want to guess as to what what it was. But, but, uh, but sir, my girlfriend, I don't think she does drugs, sir. Well, I mean, well, then you'll need to talk to a lawyer about that. I'm just a, a bail bondsman, and you asked me what she's charged with. She was arrested by the Fullerton Police Department yesterday at 9 o'clock in the morning. And when they arrested her and took her into drugs, into jail, they claimed she had drugs on her. And, you know, they must have asked her if she had any drugs on her because they didn't find them until they searched her in the jail. And uh, so that's what it's all about. But I don't know what happened in court yet today because nothing's updated. And what happened if she has cocaine? I mean, does she go to jail? Do I have to pay? She's in jail. She has a $25,000 bail, but she went to court today. So we don't know what happened in court today until they update it, and it usually... You know, it sometimes takes till midnight for them to update all the paperwork from today's um, court cases. I understand. I, I, I just wish I could. Uh, could I just bail her out so she doesn't have to go through this? Her mom. I'm sorry, what? Old. Can you just what? Yeah, I need to bail her out because her mother is very old. She, I mean, she, well, she finds out. we don't know if she needs a bail, but but if you want to come into our office, we'll start all the paperwork, and the bond would cost you. Uh, I, I don't know how you're going to pay it, but if, if it's ten percent, are you me? saying are you saying I don't have money, sir? No, I just said I don't know how you are going to pay it. Credit with card. money, with money, sir. How else would I pay it, sir? I don't want to argue with you, sir. I'm just trying to help you. Okay. She has a twenty-five thousand dollar bill, and if that remains, if that's what it is, it could cost as much as ten percent, which would be twenty-five hundred dollars. We have some discounts available, but I don't know what you qualify for, or her. But we'll yeah. take an application, and we'll give you the best deal we can. Your address is in the website, right, sir? Yes. In, okay, I need to go because, but right now it's too late. Could I go tomorrow? What time do you Yes, have? I'm in the Pomona office, and you can, we're, we're, we have somebody here 24 hours a day. Oh, perfect. I just, I just want to get this done so her mother doesn't find out, sir. 
I understand. Okay, so I'll go tomorrow, I'll take $2,500, and I'll pay you. At the most, okay. yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I just had a couple of emails sent to me, and I'm – hopefully I got two. Okay. Uh, you need name Brittany McNutt. Did she go by uh, – Okay, Elisa Michelle Sullivan. Uh, she's using somebody else's ID. Uh, so identity theft, theft of an access card, possession of a controlled substance, and her bail is $20,000. So it would cost somewhere between sixteen hundred and two thousand dollars to bail her out and uh, she uh, back on the one on March 16th that was possession of a controlled substance and somebody bailed her out for the case in uh, Fullerton and that was in March. Yes, on March 16th, she was bailed out. She was arrested and bailed out in um, Buena, in uh, by Buena Park. Looks like it might have been a warrant, but um, yes, it was a, a warrant for uh, possession of a controlled substance, and that bail. I don't know how much that bail was, but this new one is for $20,000, and it's for uh, uh, identity theft. So, you know, she out uh, – there's a lot of this going on, but uh, how? what relationship is she to you? Well, she's my girlfriend, but I mean, we've only been dating for like. Did a you bail her out in March? No, I had no idea she went to jail in March, and and, and I thought she was. Girlfriend. So it means she's stealing identity and selling drugs. The three charges are use others I uh, use others ID for gain, and. Theft of an access card, which would be like a debit card or a credit card, and also possession of a controlled substance, something that would probably be a white powdery substance like methamphetamine, cocaine, something like that. Does she do that drug? Anyway, that's what she they're alleging she had on her. And so those are her three charges. I can't tell you exactly what she did, but the last gal I bailed out for this uh, went in with somebody else's ID and their uh, and their credit card and tried to get money at a 7-Eleven. I don't know where she got arrested, but... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I've been thinking about it, and I... I, I Do you have the I, money to bail her out? I, I, yeah, I made some calls, and I found the money. I just need to know, if I bail her out, could I see her this week? Like, if I bail her out, she goes free right away, right? Yes. Because, because I, I, I want to talk to her and clear this whole mess. Okay. Has she uh, ever been arrested before this? Not that I know of. Uh, we've only been dating for a few months. She's a uh, an accountant? Yeah. yeah. Is she working? I don't think so. I mean, no. How long? Have you, you've only known her for a couple of months? Yeah, but I I, I really like her and... and, and well, I know you really like her, but where do you work, sir? I work at a convenience store. You work at a convenience store, and how long have you been on the job? Just 
like a year or so. Do you have uh, two thousand uh, dollars? No, but I can ask my parents because if, if I think if I bail her out, it 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 could mean that we could continue the relationship. If not, I think she's going to jail. I, I think she doesn't have any money. Uh, I I don't know, sir. But you, but you'd uh, be guaranteeing that she'd make all of her appearances in court, or be liable for twenty thousand dollars. But uh, does uh, do you know enough about her to give us an application on her, like where she lives, you know, uh, where she works, all that, so where her parents and family live, and do you know all that? Well. I know a few things. I mean, I know she's not working right now. She's been living with me. She's living with you? Yeah. That's why I want to bail her out. Was she living with you last month when she got arrested? Yeah, and that's why it was so surprising that she somebody bailed her out. And she, I didn't even know she went to jail. Uh-huh. So I, yeah, I'm looking at it right here. And uh, she's got court on that. She has to be in court Thursday in Fullerton on that bond. But where where are you? Where do you work in a convenience store? In Los Angeles, downtown. In downtown Los Angeles. Where do you live? Downtown as well. Okay. How did you happen to call us? Oh, I checked it on the internet. Pardon me? On the internet, I searched. I'm not understanding what you're saying. You what now? Yeah, I searched it on the internet because I've never been. The internet, on the okay. Yeah. All right. That, that that's all I was asking. You know, some people know us, and I'm just wondering. If, so, I, do you have something to write with? Yeah. I'm at four thirty-five. 435, yeah. West Mission Boulevard in Pomona. That's Suite 105. In and do you Pomona. have like a like an ad of a of your business? Do I have a what? So I can locate your business. You have your name on your business, right? Yes, I'm. It, if you look at HerbertBellbinds.com, you'll see our ad. And I, I go and I give you the the twenty thousand, right? The two thousand, I mean. Yes, you give us a call and we'll meet you here at the office and go down and bail her out in Orange County. Uh, when I'm do you want to do this? I'm when doing, can I'm, you do this? <clears throat> If I can tomorrow, but I, I need to know that if well, she'll that be I... in court by then, sir. They're going to take her and arraign her at the central court, which is in Santa Ana, tomorrow morning. So you'd have to bail her out ASAP right away because otherwise they're going to uh, hook her up and take her to, to court in the morning. What, what would you recommend me to do? I I can't recommend anything. You you want to have a relationship with her, and so you feel that bailing her out will enhance your relationship with her. So how can I give you advice better than that? But the thing is, I really like her, so I I'm not sure if I I, I see you're you're telling me you really like her. I can't make this decision for you. I'm 72 years old, and I've already f fucked up every uh, every relationship I've ever had, so I I can't give you an answer on that. But uh, but I'm certainly ready to do this for you if you want to do it. Is it possible to call you back in half an hour so I can think about it more? Is it? Can you call me back in half an hour? Yeah. Then it's possible. So I, yes, it is possible. Hi, this is Fred at Herbert Belbines. I can't get to my phone right now. Leave your name and number, 
I'll give you a call back ASAP. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Thank you. Hello, my friend, Mr. Herbert. It's Dmitry Gratsky calling from the motherland. Perhaps you recognize me from a few of the calls I've made to you these past few days. If you want to reach Fred, call 877-722-4593. 714-647-4667. And I'm giving you that to call because I'm a bail bondsman. I bail people out that can have bail. You're a friend, and you can inquire for that. I I have no business inquiring on someone that has no bail. So you can call them, give them their booking number, and maybe they'll tell you something different than it shows on their website. But... uh, and I don't know anything more than that. Okay, what's your name? My name is Dimitri. D M I T R I? No, no, no. Uh, D Y. That's the only difference. D Y M I T R I. And your last name? Kratsky. G R A D S K I? Yeah. Uh, Dimitri? Yeah. I am going to call your friend Julian and see what I can do to help you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry. Bye. Well, Bunch. See you when I watch it. Buenas noches. Yeah, you know, I have, uh, since 2009, I've had people pranking me uh, online. Uh, There's a prankster.com, all kinds of stuff going on. And the FBI, I've copyrighted everything about myself. And the FBI's in the middle of an investigation, and they've got about 20 people that prank everybody, and uh, uh, they're about ready to go out and start arresting people. I hope Jonathan isn't one of them. I don't know why he would call me. See, most of these people, they use uh, lines that you can't reach, you know what I mean? And yet he called me from a number. Uh, Was he trying to... Trying to uh, say that he wanted to talk to you personally. He wanted to talk to me. Yeah. So I think uh, what you told me is exactly what's going on. I really? Just hope, yeah. I is this um, his cell phone that he? It wasn't his cell phone he was calling from, was it? No, no, it wasn't. It was uh, some other. It was a real number, but uh, it was not his cell phone. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's very interesting, you know. Is does he do that a lot to other people? Is you know, there's a a whole uh, a whole network worldwide of people that prank people and they have websites, they keep track of stuff. I, I have people that go on those websites and then call me. I've had people come into my office. I've had them. Ha- I had to handcuff them and had them arrested. Uh, I don't know what this big thrill is. I remember when you know I'm I'm 72. I don't know how old you are, but when I was a kid, we'd get on the phone. The phone was we had a party line. We'd get on the phone and we'd tell people, uh, "Is your fig- refrigerator running?" And they say, yes, and say, well, you better go catch it, you know. And this is what they do all day. I have people that call me every day. Every and day? I, every day. I mean, I, I, 
I get about 50 prank calls a day since 2009, and I, I can't, uh, so I don't even talk to the people, but they seem real excited to talk to me. You know, if you put, if you Google Fred Herbert, I come up all over the place. They make fake websites, they pictures, all this crazy stuff. And, you know, I mean, I, I didn't even have much time to go after it, but a, uh, uh, a buddy of mine who's a private investigator has set this thing up and I guess they're really close to going out and starting to arrest a lot of people because I'm not the only one this happens to, but there is a whole bunch of people that this is what they do all day. I guess they get their government check and then they, <laughs> you know, I can't figure it out. I, it's beyond my comprehension, you know, and I've been a bell bondsman for 46 years and a cop before that for four or five years. And so, I mean, I think I've seen it all, but this is the, really blows me away that people do this. You know, I mean, what did, what's, you know, do they, are they getting sexual satisfaction from, you know what I mean? Right. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and he gave away my phone number too. Yeah, he gave, well, he gave me your phone number as 909 Three one two two seven six six. Uh, so he really was trying zero, to. Yeah, right? he was trying to play it out, right? And then, and then you called me from three one two zero seven six six. So I don't know what's going on, but he's. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me, you know. I mean, I've been, and I've been, I went to an AA meeting just yesterday. I got 25 years since I drank, and I was the worst drunk, and I and yet this isn't what I did, you know. So I I, I can't explain it. That this is what he does for excitement, you know. I, you know what I mean? And and I hard I I hold no hard feelings, but please stop. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll tell him that, and uh, I hope uh, this doesn't didn't ruin your evening, sir. No, I, babe, we're, I just, I, 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 despite, uh, these calls, I'm still able to conduct my business and, uh, but they, you know, they are disruptive, but, uh, I've still, I, despite them, I've been able to make a living for all these years. So, and I got, there's a lot of families here that work out of this office, so I'm sure it's hurt us some, you know, but, uh, so anyway, gosh. Well, good luck, sir. Thank you. Oh, well, I apologize again, and uh, have a good evening, sir. You too. I ask you for justice, Don Herbert. I need your help. Okay, I, uh, uh, Dimitri? Yeah? I am going to call your friend Julian and see what I can do to help you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry. Bell Yes, hi. I called uh, a few minutes ago, but it, it got cut off, I think. Yes. Yes, I was trying I to asked bail you, my grandfather. Uh, who you wanted to bail out? Yes, my grandfather. He got in trouble. You, your your grandfather? Your grandson? What is it? He's my grandfather. Your grandfather? Where is he in custody? I think they said in Riverside. What's his name? His name is Frank Garrett. Frank Savage? No, no, no. Frank. What's his name? Frank. Frank, right? Yes, yes. And what's his last name? Garrett. Spell that. G A double R E T T. In your name. My name is David Garrett. In your phone number. Nine oh nine. Nine three one. Thirty, eighty-two. 
I'm very close to Laguna Beach. You're in Laguna Beach? Very close. And they took him away. He was resisting arrest. He was giving them, the, the police, uh, you know, he, like trouble or not. How long ago was uh, this, sir? About an hour ago. Okay, it'll be several hours before he's booked in. So I'll check it out and I'll give you a call. If he's in Riverside, uh, they but, take several hours to do a booking. So when you when he calls you, get his booking number and give me a call, okay? But could you tell me how much trouble he's in? I don't know, sir. Be because I'm, you know, he's 70 years old. I don't want him to. Sir? Yeah? Is this a crank call? What do you mean? Is this really happening? What's yeah. your grandfather's date of birth? Date of birth? 1931. 1931. And he's 70 41. years old. Yeah. Figure all of this out and give me a call back when you know what you're talking about. Thank you. Thank you. Bill Bunch. Yes. Good day. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm calling Bill Bunch. Yes. Uh, somebody I need to bail. And who is that? Oh, he's my friend, but. Uh, What's your name, sir? My name is Arthur. Arthur what? Smith. And your phone number, Arthur Smith? Uh, for what? Well, you're calling me for my help. If I don't have your yeah. phone number, how can I help you? Well, the thing is, I don't know if I want to bail my friend. I just want to know the price. What's your friend's name? My friend's name is Thomas. Thomas what? Sandy. Sir, when you're ready to give me the information yeah. so that I can help you, you could call me back or unless you'd like to give me that information now. I need the full name of the person and where that person's in custody and their age. Well, the thing is they took him way and I'm, I, I couldn't call him. Um, Goodbye, sir. What? Bellbank. Hello? Hello? Yes, I just called you back. May I help you? Yes, uh, you told me to call you. What's your name, sir? My name is Albert. I told you to call me about what? About bailing my, my wife. What's your wife's name? I already gave you the information. I don't have it. I've talked to a hundred people today, sir. What is oh, your wife's name? Oh my God, a hundred people. Well, my wife's name is Samantha. Good, good night and don't call me anymore, please. Why not? Why are you acting this way? È la famiglia Corleone. No respeto, Santa Mena. So the Don Herbert wants to play hard to get. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. And is that the number you just called me from? No, I'm using the internet. What do you mean you're using the internet? 
you know, uh, Skype. Okay. You don't have a regular phone number? The, I just gave you the number. I have a, a number, but, uh, uh, you know, it's free to call from the... Why are, 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 excuse me, sir. Don't get excited. I'm not. I'm sorry if, if, if my tone was out of line, but, uh, you know... Everybody uses Skype nowadays. I thought it was not going to be a surprise. Not everybody uses Skype. Okay. All right. Fine. Well, but I have Good a... Good night. Wow. Why do you keep hanging up? God damn it. Who the fuck is this, my friend? Do not fuck around. Why do you call from an unrestricted number? Is this Fred Herbert? Hello, Bounds. Yeah, hello, it's David. Um, why do you keep calling and hanging up? I'm getting calls from an unrestricted number. Do you just want to argue with me, or do you want me to help you? You're calling me and hanging up with an unrestricted number at fucking uh, this hours? What are you doing? Well, your friend's been in jail since February 8th. His bail's uh, $155,000. Do you have the money to bail him out? Oh, I have it, but I'm not going to use your services. You're so unprofessional. Okay, my well, then call, call somebody else. Yeah, David. I'm going to write a review, just so you know. You write a review, you do whatever you want, but you've just been angry the entire time. Yeah. I tried, to, I tried to call you back to help you. You call and hanging up. What are you doing? What kind of service Good night, is that? sir. Hello? 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 Is anybody there? Yes, hello! Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, am I calling Bell Bond? I, are you? You've reached one. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, I was calling in regards to... Uh, bailing somebody out. Who do you want to bail out? Well, my wife. Okay, and what's your wife's name? My wife's name is Brittany. Spell spell that for me. Uh, B R I T T N E Y. And last name? Graski. Spell that for me. G R A T S K I. G R A T S K I? Yeah. How old is she? She's 29. And where is she in custody? Uh, I have it right here. San Bernardin County, something? Which one? Okay. And uh, your name? My name is Albert. And your phone number, Albert? 909-931-2091. Okay, hang on. How long has she been in custody? Well, well I'm not really sure. Because, was it today? Uh, or was It was today. We got a, a little argument. What What time did the police take her away? Just about half an hour ago. We were, we were and fighting. When, uh, it was, I'm uh, sorry, sir. What? In what county? I mean, in what city? Upland. Okay, she may not be at the jail yet. What did they arrest her for? Well, she was fighting with me, and she actually got violent. She grabbed a bottle, and she was trying to hit How me. How much she is her bail? Uh, 
Well, they told me that it would be about 500. That's that's not correct. G R A T S K I Brittany B R I T T M E Y and you say she's twenty nine. Yes, and they asked me if I wanted to press charges against my own wife. I mean... Uh-huh. Well, they took her away, so I guess that didn't matter, did it? Well, I just don't want to, you know... Do you want to bail her out? Yeah, of course. Yeah, anything. Okay. Well, then I'm going to keep checking, and when uh, they finally have her booked in, and I know what the bail is, I'll give you a call. Oh, and I'm right here on much. Euclid. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. If you hear something before oh, I'm you, I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name? Fred Herbert. Uh, well, please do call me back because I just want to make it. You know. If you hear from her out. before you hear from me, get her booking number and give me a call. Yes, please, because I don't want her family to find out. I, I just want it to be done quick. Please. I understand, sir. It's going to cost more than five hundred dollars, though I bet you. Really? Oh, well, man. usually the bail's somewhere between twenty five hundred, twenty five thousand, and fifty thousand, which would cost somewhere <laughs> between two two thousand and maybe four thousand dollars. Now, now you can probably put a down payment and make payments, but that's what it's going to cost you. This isn't uh, something. You know, if it was only a $500 bill, they'll give her a citation and release her. But it's going to probably be a couple of hours before she gets booked in. So I'll keep my eye on it and give you a call, sir. Uh, thank you. Okay. So I, uh, that's a lot of money. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bellbinds. Yes, hello. This is Albert. I called... Uh, Hi, Albert. How come your phone's disconnected? I've tried to call you back. Yeah, the thing is, her family came to my house, uh, my, my wife's uh, uh, father, and... I don't believe any of this. Well, why not? Because your phone's disconnected, sir. But I had to, to talk to his father. How are you calling me on a disconnected phone? It's not disconnected. I just okay. turned it off. Pardon me? I just turned it off. I just I just wanted to call you and say that they're going to take care of the bail, not me. Okay. Yeah, so Thank you. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you, Fred. You were a gentleman. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Yes, uh, hello. Um, I need to bail my uh, girlfriend. She got arrested a few hours ago and I, I don't know what to do. Hello? One more time? Yes, my girlfriend. Uh, she got picked up a couple hours ago. I think she was drunk. And I tried to call her cell phone. I think she try to call me because uh, she was saying something that she got picked up uh, uh, with her friends and her friends sent me a text and I tried to call her back but I don't know what to do so uh, they gave Where's me Where's she numbers. in jail? Well they say uh, LA County I think 
something like that. Oh, you're in the you're in the wrong state for me. Good luck. Oh, what? Hi, this is Fred at Herbert Belbines. I can't get to my phone right now. Leave your name and number. I'll give you a call back ASAP. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. My friend, it's Dimitri. Brittany Stanfield is sucking my walnuts right now. <laughs> Yes, I just called about a friend, Jennifer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did you find her? Uh, I'm not, don't call anymore. That I cannot do, my friend. Now you come to me, Don Dimitri, please don't call anymore. But you don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship, Mr. Fred Herbert. You don't even think to call me God, son. And if you come to me in friendship, then the prank calls will stop this very day. And if an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then they will become my enemies. And then they would fear you. because they don't want uh, anybody to know shit. So. But why? Is it because you're Mexican? Uh, I, I don't know, sir. Ha but hang on. I'm I'm logging in to uh, the sheriff's information here so I can get some more information. And when did she get arrested? She got arrested a couple of days ago. And the booking number is three zero 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 seven five one. And she's in the Orange County Jail. Yes, sir. Okay, but but the name would be Esther Avalos. Yes, correct. Okay. <clears throat> I've got to figure out how to how she's going to be booked. But hang on. Try to figure it out here for you. So you think her last name is Esther Avalos? Yes, that's the last name. All together? All run together? Yeah, I mean, she's Mexican, so the last name is just Avalos. I, sir, they, they, they do it every, every possible way. So unless you happen to know for sure, I have to... E S T H E R A V A L O S. Exactly, that's the name. I think because she's Mexican, the name is different. You know, it's not the same as American. <clears throat> I've, been, I've been doing this a long time. I know exactly what you're saying. Is this uh, Alberto? Yeah, I'm sorry. I ran out of credits. I had to use my other phone. How many phone numbers do you have? I've gotten a call from a 773 area code from you. You told me your number's 909, and now you're calling from a 310 number? 310 what? Yeah, 310 and 310. Yeah. 310 my, what? It's my, my local phone What's number. What's your phone me? number, sir? From What's Mexico? your phone number? Oh, you can call me from this one. What is the, what is the phone number, sir? 909. No, you you just called from a 310 number. Yeah, but that is my number from Mexico. I don't think you can call that number because I'm in Mexico. You're in Mexico. 
Yeah, I'm supposed to travel to California to bail my girlfriend. What is it you'd like to do, sir? I need to know how much I'm I have to Pomona. pay. I'm in Pomona. I have an office in Pomona. And if you want to bail her out, come on in and see me. Okay? But I need to know how much I need to pay. Well, the bail is $50,000. 50000 I don't have. And so, so that would cost, at the most, $5,000. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be 50000 That's better. Well, that's what the bill is, $50,000. That's what you, that's what she needs to get out. You have 57 but seconds. You have $50,000. So I'm, so you'd have to come pay me and I'd put up the $50,000 for you and guarantee her, her appearance in court. But how come you called me right back again from a different number? I run out of credits. I don't have any money. Okay. Well, tell me what you want to do. Could, could I? You want to bail her out? Yeah. Could I? But I could I visit her and see her. You cannot do what? Can I pay her a visit? Sure. She's at the Orange County Jail, and you gave me the booking number. And like you can I go visit her. Yes. Like, but like a conjugal visit? Goodbye, sir. Hello? Bell Bunch. Yes, hi. I need to bail a friend who's in the LA County. Okay, what's your friend's name? Friend's name is George Darren. How are you spelling George? Same way you spell George. G E O. -R. Well, it uh, depends on what country you're in, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, in the United States. He's from America, sir. And the last name is? His second name is Darren, and his last name is Walker. G. I mean, W A L K E R. His date of birth? 7 22. 1967. And where is he? In the LA County, sir. And his booking number is 2968132. And your name is? My name is David. I'm, I'm his friend. He called me to bail him out. What's your last name, David? Garrett. Pardon me? Garrett. Garrett? <laughs> Bye. Released on September 3rd because her sentence was over. Oh, really? Somebody paid According the bail? According to their records. Huh. Pardon me? She called me because I... According she was... to the... Go ahead. Yeah, she called me because she, she was still in jail. I think she was arrested like two months ago, right? It says her sentence ends September 3rd, and it says her custody status is released. So you say she's still there? Yeah, because I, th I think the bail is like uh, 300000 or something like that. Yeah, they don't, they're not showing any bail now, but I've just sent them a, just a second, I've just sent the jail a, an email here. Let me see what I get. Let's see. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> she had, uh, she was booked on July 7th, and by Fullerton PD, and, and why was she arrested? What happened? I'm sorry, what? And why was she arrested? 
Why was she arrested? Yeah. She didn't tell She me. had a new case for bringing a controlled substance into the jail, possession of a controlled substance, possession for sale, and transportation for sale. That was a new case, but then she had a warrant from 2013 for kidnapping, robbery, uh, robbery second degree, assault with a deadly weapon, assault with force, false imprisonment, and another kind of false imprisonment. I, I don't know if that was a warrant that they were just looking for her on or if it was for not doing some part of her sentence. And then she was arrested also on a 2010 case for uh, violating her probation. But according to this, she's been released. But wait, I mean, she told me her bail was 300000 and they were not going to let her out. And, and now you tell me she got arrested for all of this well, and she's out? You'll have to call them or call her attorney because according to the jail... She's been released. Bill Bunch. I have the dick that you need. Two big holes. I'm sorry, what? T is my older member. One more time. T, my partner, has returned. Beyond human might say something, it might not. We have a big picture to try to portray to you. I'm Doe. I feel that we are at the end of the age. And I don't, I don't want it to sound like a prophet. Hello? This is Fred Herbert. See the big dick in the window? Bill Bunch. Fred's the big homosexual. Bell Bunch. Two years? Bell Bunch. Mike? Fuck you. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. You fucking asshole. Bell Bunch. I'm not talking to anybody about my asshole son. Bell Bunch. Hey, Fred, what are you doing? Bell Bunch. Hi, Fred, this is John. John. Yeah. You big homosexual. I don't know how they want this business or a personal name. So I uh, Incorporated. That'd be my first guess, because I don't think they're going to let anyone private, but I'm not sure. But I'm just guessing. Me too. Yeah, boy, Info at HerbertBellBonds.com Because that's the one that everyone needs to have access to for everything else anyway. And, uh... Yeah, sure. Yeah, Sure, or lowercase if it'll let you do it. Bellbines. 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 Yep. Yeah, just hang it up for a minute. Speed dial. Bellbinds. This is your dad. Bellbinds. Mike? Fuck you. <laughs> so what's going on? Bellbinds. I, I have to go shit. I shit. Walnut. Bell bunch. 
Bell, 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 Vines. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, oh, oh. I went to the police academy together and, uh. Bell, Vines. Say hi, Fred. Hello? Bell, Vines. Say hi, Fred. Bell, Vines. This is actually my voice. This is Fred. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Fuck you. <laughs> Bell Bunch. Can we have sex? Bell Bunch. Do you have a longer dick than me? Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Can we have sex? Do you want to have sex? Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Why are you so mad at me? Bell Bunch. Niggers. 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 Bell Bunch. You fucking asshole. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. You're the stupid cocksucker. Bell this is Lieutenant Lascivious for the Sexual Police Department. Uh, we're trying to have sex. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Fuck you. Take yours off. Bell Bunch. Mike. Fuck you. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Fuck you. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. This is Mike. Fred? You looking for Fred? Who's this? I thought I was getting one of those fucking recorded calls and shit. I was ready to hang up. It's Mike. There you go. I don't know what's going on either. Yeah. Fred? He's on the road to the river. What's happening? Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. I'll smoke your ass! Bitch ass, nigga! Meet me somewhere, motherfucker! What's your fucking address? No, you got my dick hard, bitch! Hey, you know something? You ain't the one bitch got the keys to the gym, bitch. Have some fun. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Fuck you. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Fuck you. Hang on, please. One moment. Bell Bunch. John? Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Fuck you. Hello? Yeah, hello. This is John. Yeah, hello. Hi, Fred. This is John. Go fuck yourself. Hello? Bell Bunch. Fuck you. Bell Bunch. I am getting sexual satisfaction. Hello. I have marijuana for sale. Hello. I have marijuana for sale. Hello. I have marijuana for sale. Do you want to have sex? <laughs> Hello? Bell Bunch. Asshole. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Is Bell this Bunch. Gregory Stevens? Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Bell Bunch. Is this Gregory Stevens? Is this Gregory Stevens? 
Market basket. Hello. Your grocery order? How many? What? Bell buns. Mike. 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 Why don't you suck the sloppy into my fucking thing? Like? Hello. So you think it's because you're Mexican? <laughs> Aggravated sexual assault with a child under the age of 14. It has nothing to do with race. Yes. So. Wow. Well, they sent me a Christmas card. If you get the client, I mean, yeah. I, what are you supposed to do? You can't. Hello? Yeah. Do you want to have good sex? <laughs> Belmont. Fuck you. Receiving hit and run. Belmont. If you look at herbertbelbonds.com, you'll see dicks come. You'll see dicks come. If you, you, if you look at herbertbelbonds.com, you'll see dicks come. I just had a couple. Bell bonds may help you. My son, Mike Herbert, is bright fucking gents and sucking nuts under a tree for five bucks and cheap. We right across the street because he sucked at Bell bonds. Bell bonds. Hello. Hello. Do you fuck your children? I need to know. Bell bonds. Bell bonds. Mike? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Mike? Belvance may help you. Belvance? Fuck you. Belvance? Every day. Belvance may help you. I have black people for sale. Belvance may help you. Fuck you. Five hundred dollars. Bell lines. Fred. This is Mike. This is who? Where are you? What's happening? Copeland Police Department. Stop these annoying phone calls. Bell lines. It's this feeling of cookies coming out of my ass. Hello? Hello? Listen, dickhead, tell me where you are and I'll come around and kick the shit out of you. I just suck my dick. Bell bunch. Don't quit your day job, you stupid son of a bitch. You're not a rocket scientist. Bell bunch. No. Hello? Is this the person is, is this the person I just called about the Dodge part? I'm sorry, what? Yeah? I'm calling about some Dodge parts. Hello? Hello? Hey listen, buddy. This is the first time I have called you, you fucking asshole. There's an ad on Craigslist for a fucking Truck that's rolled. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. If you couldn't already tell, I am pretty sad about some information that I just found out. That information yeah. is um, pertaining to somebody who died. The man that I'm talking about is Fred Herbert. This is not a joke. And I can confirm Hallelujah. he actually did pass away. Hallelujah. Yeah. He was always very yeah. kind to me. Yeah. 
Fred Herbert changed my life. Oh, yeah. Fred Herbert, who gave me so much happiness, is now gone. Just like the wind. A lot of people are going to miss him. How can you miss what was here? He just seemed like he really genuinely wanted to help you. He was willing to help you out, and I could really feel that from him. It didn't feel forced. It didn't feel fake. Really felt really, really, really. Now we're here, so. Here we are. It's really, it's here really a shame. And there I go. And I can confirm right. he actually did pass away. Hello? Yeah. If you couldn't already tell, I am pretty sad about some information that I just found out. That information is um, pertaining to somebody who died. Gee, too bad you have an unknown number. I'd report you. The man that I'm talking about is Fred Herbert. <laughs> Good deal. I'm, I'm very, very glad because uh, he's not very nice. And I can confirm he actually did pass away. Good. Sorry to hear that for your sake if you're his family. Fred Herbert changed my life. Oh, good. It puts you into alcoholism, huh? He was always very kind to me. Good for you. I don't know why you're calling me. I need to hear some type of conversation happening that I can understand. I don't, I haven't seen him in years and years and years, and that was only work-related, so I don't know why you would call me. I'm just really shocked and really saddened to hear this, actually. That's Fred just, Herbert, that's who gave me too, so much happiness, Poor is Herbert. now gone. Bye-bye. Rest in peace, Fred Herbert. Bell Bond's not going to help you. Rest in peace, Fred Herbert. What? Fred Herbert changed my life, and I can confirm he actually did pass away. Well, that's good news. I am pretty sad. Hello? If you couldn't already tell, I am pretty sad about some information that I just found out. That information is um, pertaining to somebody who died. The man that I'm talking about is Fred Herbert. Yes. Fred Herbert changed my life. Who is this? This is not a joke. Who is this? Fred Herbert brought me so much happiness in times of my life where I was quite sad. Yeah. A lot of people That's are going to miss him. Yeah, why'd you call me? A lot of people will, will, will truly miss him because I think uh, um, hearing Fred's cadence and the way he carries himself over the years, at least for me, I got a good feeling of how he was, and he was a very polite man. He was a gentleman. Um, I, he never I really cursed. I think we're cursed. talking about the same Fred Herbert. It's a real shame, so. Must be a, must be a different Fred Herbert. Now we're here, so. He was 73 years old. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to keep repeating myself. Yeah, you keep repeating yourself. So I just want to give you my quick thoughts. Why? He is probably more well-known than, than I think a lot of people give credit for. Why? Because of his bail bonds? No. These prank calls really give me so much happiness and always make me laugh. I don't really communicate with people. You don't? Sometimes to keep me sane, I need to hear some type of conversation happening that I can understand. Okay. A lot of people are going to miss him. I don't know very many of those people. I know a few of them. Now we're here, so. We're here where? In California. Oh. That narrows it down. But let me describe to you what he was. <laughs> okay. One of the kindest people that I've ever talked to. 
He just seemed like he really genuinely wanted to help you. He was willing to help you out, and I could really feel that from him. It didn't feel forced. It didn't feel fake. What did he ever do for you? He he runs a business. He what? He he runs a business. He ran the business. Well, what part of it did you play? These prank calls really give me so much happiness, and I don't want to keep repeating myself. But I had to. I had to. Um. Do you think his son's going to grow up to be like him? Yeah. His son, Mike, would... Yeah, what about his other son? No. Just one? Fred Herbert Just changed Mike? my life. Yeah. Did you go to Fred's funeral? No. How come? I don't know. I might have given sad. you some closure. Yeah. A lot of people are going to miss him. Like how many people? Hundreds? I don't know. Do you know who I am? I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember me? No. My name is Fred Gordon Herbert, and I go by Fred Herbert. But some people would go by Gordon, let's say, even though that's their middle name, you know? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Fred. Do you remember me? Of course. How are you? Fine. What's your name and phone number and your brother's name? Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah, I am. What relationship like is she huh? to you? I'm sorry. I'm not sure I understood you right. Are, are you mentally ill? No. Are you? Yes. Why are you so mad at me? I'm not mad at you. Why are you acting like this? Like what? I, I, I don't understand why you're so mad at me, sir. Oh, I'm not mad. Wow. Do you remember me? Yes. When I was a kid... That sounds just like Fred Herbert. Yeah. That sounds I just am like Fred, Fred Herbert. Herbert. You certainly sound like Fred Herbert. I'm puzzled. Let's start this again. My name's Fred Herbert. What about Fred? My name is Fred Gordon Herbert. Yes? Yes, I know. That's... What's your ex-wife's name? <laughs> what did you say? No. I said, what is your ex-wife's name? Huh? Can't hear me? You're speaking so softly, I can barely hear you. What is your ex-wife's name? What's your sister's name? Why do you care? You don't know my sister. Let's start this again. Why? Why? What happened? What's your sister's name? What's your ex-wife's name? Your sister? Not my sister. Your sister? I don't have one. <laughs> That's not good information. My name is Fred Gordon Herbert, and I go by Dead Fred. And I've been dead since February 24th, 2018. I wasn't sure when it was. February, I was huh? 73 years old. Did you die at San Antonio Hospital? Uh-huh. I thought so. You're talking to a dead gentleman. Well, that's kind of unusual. You know, there's a, a, whole, uh, a whole network worldwide of people that fuck dead people 
<laughs> yes, I know. That's that's me. That's, do you fuck, fuck dead people? Is that what you're saying? Fred, where'd you go? Are you looking at my dead ass right now? No, I can't see you. I can just hear you. Do you have big kids? Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you have KY? Not on me. If I don't have KY, how can I fuck you? <laughs> well, you're a dirty old son of a bitch. Some things never change. Yes, I know. That's that's me. <laughs> that's you. <clears throat> so what's going on? So, Fred, how do we know each other? Tell me. We are very connected. You and I have had sex before. Well, we have not. I'm certainly ready to do this for you if you want to do it. <laughs> well, that's kind of you. I'm I really not going to be able to accept that offer, but that is nice of you. I'm going to have my agent, John, recording this. Are you getting sexual satisfaction from this? Not me. How about you? Yes. Just from talking? <laughs> sure. Well, Fred, you haven't like lost put, your dirty mind. I would like to put my white dick in your brown ass. Mm. Your dirty taco. Mm. Where, where are you? Where are you being? You what, what's me? going on here? What is going on here? How could they possibly do this? I don't know. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yes, I know. That's it's your connections. You know, it's all those connections you had. Somebody's hooking you up. The FBI really needs to be called on this. I'm a bell bondsman, so I can get away with it. Oh, you can't get away with everything just because you're a bell bondsman. I don't believe any of this. Why? You're you're talking to me. Why don't you believe it? I've been dead since February 24th, 2018. What'd you die from, Fred? I was 73 years old. What did you die from, Fred? Who took you to the hospital, Fred? You don't want to answer me? Cocaine. It's hard to understand you for some reason. Can I get some help, please? What kind of help do you want? He had sex with a minor. Sex with a minor? Yeah. Mm. Who did? Mm. Who did? I had sex with a minor. Mm. Are you proud of that? Yes. I'm not surprised. I got a call from you, and it was a recording, and you were in a uh, jail, and you were getting your ass fucked by uh, that gentleman. And how'd that work out? The FBI really needs to be called on this. You think so? Yes. In fact, I don't know whether I'm really talking to you or a recording. Is, is this really you? This is really me, but it's not really you. That's probably why you're confused. Yes, I know. That's this hey. is you. There's some sick person out there that's doing this. I know. Must drive his family crazy. Yes, I know. That's they're telling me. I'm crazy. You sound kind of the same to me. Wow. Yes, I know. That's... Mm. You called me, so you have my number. Yes. Yes. Oh, are you done with me now? Yes. All right, homie. All right. All right, homie. Go to sleep.
Good night. All right. Good night. Hello? <sighs> if you couldn't already tell, I am pretty sad about some information that I just found out. Who is this? That information is um, pertaining to somebody who died. The man that I'm talking about is Fred Herbert. Fred Herbert, who gave me so much happiness, is now gone. This is not a joke. You guys are really sick. I am pretty sad. Hang on just a second. Okay. My voice. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Hey, you know what? Come to my office. You call me five or six times here, and I, I haven't called you. Are you? Are you? Is your phone ringing? And you think it's me? Hello. 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 Bell bunch. Bell bunch. Bell bunch. Bell bunch. Yes. Gregory Stevens. Gregory Stevens. Gregory Stevens. I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. Well, why this strange one call? What's going on with you? Don't fucking carry anymore. Why are you so mad at me? Fucking asshole. I, I, I don't understand why you're so mad at me, sir. Oh, what's My phone is ringing. Don't call your house anymore. Okay. Okay. Name is Red. This isn't a recording. Gregory Stevens. No. This isn't a recording. My name is Red. I'm a bell linesman. What, what's going on here? What's happening, sir? Well, why this strange phone call? What's going on with you? Bell punch. Yes. Bell punch. Wow. This isn't a recording. Surprise, sitting or lying in the public ways. <laughs> You're very rude. That's not good information. I'm not being hostile. So you want to know what the Belvine business is all about? Say yes. All right, homie. Yeah, I'll take the pepperoni with extra cheese. Well, it would cost you $500. Bye. Go. Oh. <laughs> good night.